Hey, hey, this is uh, some Star Wars. We're playing some Star Systems today. Um, I really wanted just to play Star Wars. So we made entirely new characters right after having made all four characters for our Star Wars campaign that we can't do yet. So we're making more and we're doing some Star Wars. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> so um, we're going to play. This is kind of like a like a side story to our Mandalorian Wars campaign that we're going to start here. I think I've settled on the name being Red in Tooth and Claw for that campaign. And it's describing the Mandalorians, you know. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to play a little side story to that game before we've even started that game. And we're going to uh, zoom into Terrace. We're going to go to Terrace. Um, we're doing Old Republic era Star Wars. And we are going to... Um, well, we see the estate of a noblewoman. Uh, we probably get like I, I didn't have time to write up like a whole um, uh, opening crawl, and honestly, this would be more Wait, like just go uh, to Chat BT. <laughs> uh, th there would be uh, this would probably be more like a Rogue One or Solo situation anyway. So that there's probably not even an opening crawl. This is a side. This is a Star Wars story, you know. Um, and uh, either way, we 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 see um. We're going to play on Terrace. I, I was just about to start describing stuff as a GM, but I realized we're playing Burning Wheel. Let's let's look at our characters and our beliefs and instincts and all that jazz real quick before we get started here. So we got Alyssa. What, who are you playing? Um, I am playing Xena. Um, are you a princess? Uh, no, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> Maybe uh, next week, you know, when you make up me burn up another character. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are, are you familiar with the Xena Warrior Princess? Uh, kind of. Yeah, you recognize the name at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so I only have one belief for today. Um, it is, I owe much to the house of Kare. I will mm -hmm. complete the job they have asked of me. Um, my instincts are never reveal my true intentions. Protect Murray at all costs. Mm -hmm. Always assume someone is shady until proven otherwise. And nice. my traits are mind over matter, quiet, vivacious, loyal, and mentat. Nice. Yeah. I am curious about that because mentat, um, oh, once per session. Cool. You can even change it. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, any, an ac any academic school or wise, you were trained, your mind was honed uh, to do math and academic stuff. Um, yeah. So I, I randomly believe... know calculus. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, I was just going to make a joke about prostitutes, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it, right, exactly. Your your character is is such a one. Uh, I My, my joke uh, was going to be. Just for one noble man, <laughs> kind of. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here as his um, concubine, rather. Right, 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 right. You're right. not, you're not a. You're not a uh, you're not one of those common riffraff prostitutes. I'm not one of the <laughs> professional common riffraff ones. What do you take me for? Yeah, very true, very true. But either way, this concubine happens to know calculus, so that's fine. Um, I do believe quiet is a uh, a Colin trait, though. Oh. Um, I think it's a Colin for stealthy. Oh, I'll look that up. Yeah, so I, I just... Is, is, is in Vivacious a character trait? I think oh, it is. So. Yeah, you have it in character. Okay, I'm I'm just putting these in there, right? I think loyal and mind over matter are both uh, die traits as well. Um, I just threw which, them in. I didn't. You know, I wasn't paying. Yeah, yeah, you're attention. you're totally fine. You are fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, Zena, the non warrior princess, um, the non warrior concubine, uh, Will, who you playing? I am playing as Nathrix. Uh, he is a Secret Service agent from, where are they? Um, I've lost on my sheet where they are. I was in Stats and Skills. The, oh, yeah, I don't think you ever put it in. Um, Didn't the I? Sentinel Vanguard. Oh, I only had it in. Um, Take yeah. care to burn you. No. Mm. There you go. I'm a Secret Service agent of Sentinel Vanguard. Uh, my my belief, I only have one so far. We'll figure out the others after we know what's going on. But I have a sworn duty to my post. I will protect my employer, Marie Curé. Very nice. And uh, 
my instincts are I have sh- I keep strong convictions. I will never leave my post. Unrest is stirring. I always know the ways in or out of a room. And I refuse to attack someone who's given up. I never harm the fleeing or surrendering. I don't believe any of these are written like instincts uh, will. So <laughs> what? <laughs> you're good. You're good. We'll, we'll workshop them slightly. Uh, I, I keep strong conviction. I will never leave. So uh, never leave my post, I guess, is the keyword there. That's fine. Yep. Uh, un- this this middle one doesn't work because uh, always know. You can't always know. You can always try to know. Right. My bad. Um, always like try to find out the way right uh, you you uh, you unfortunately instincts unless you're you have a special instinct uh cannot yep. just be made to uh automatically yep. know things um and that's then, that's what i meant sorry okay yeah you, you just added some embellishment to some of these i guess um uh i i always just uh and you're, you're totally fine to leave the rest of them how they are um i just uh when i write them i i always just just do the i never or i uh always or if then um but that's fine i won't I want to blame you for being uh, overzealous with giving us more fun character details. That is perfectly acceptable. Uh, what are your traits? Unless you already said them. I am, uh, for character traits, I'm a creature of habit. Nice. My die traits are um, that I'm connected. Oh, yeah. Which setting did you choose, by the way, for that? Um, uh, the, the military one. Didn't, didn't you have military life paths, though? Yes. Wait, yeah, so connected would give you the, the idea with connected is it gives you an extra circles, like an oh, extra setting okay. you can circle people up in from that um, list of them that I gave. Oh shoot. I didn't find this. That's right. You can you can look, take a look at it. Uh and then you also have conditioned. Uh, yes, so you have a column for steel. Have as a soldier. Um what what the life path do you get creature of habit for? Uh Sorry. I didn't. It was just one that I Oh, you chose? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how that looks for, for Nathrix because uh, a lot of times, like, a, a trait like that w- will be on a life path and it will immediately tell us, like, oh, yeah, as a military man, you were a creature of habit. That makes sense. You you do, you <laughs> you fold your bed sheets the same way you did in the military and all that stuff, right? But That's uh, kind of, that's curious. why I took it. The military setting just sense. doesn't really give you anything. Uh, yes, yes. They, I believe, and we said this when we played our first campaign with this system, the first draft of uh, the first edition of Star Systems here, uh, they, I, I think they were a little bit uh, underwhelming with the um, the trait options they decided to to put on there. They they let let you pick a lot of them, as opposed to burning wheel proper, which basically forces you to like if you're a guard, you must be drunk, which I I personally love. I love that you like are uh, the, the life paths you choose make you have to take traits that you have to play tour against. But okay, anyway, uh, Orin Qatar, uh, beliefs, instincts, and traits, my friend. Yeah, so. I believe that uh, the child of Marie uh, Carre is destined to tip the balance of course. So I must convince her to let me bring her son back to the Grey Jedi on plane to her training to prevent this disaster. Nice. I also believe that the balance of force must be maintained, even in my own mind. I will seek to balance the thought, balance myself back towards the dark side of the force, as long as I don't exceed too far. And maintain exactly. the middle. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I always seek the balance of the force. And if there's a conflict, I will find the middle ground between both sides. Nice. I do have a laceration scar on the left side of my on my left cheek. Nice. Um, do I do I read the die traits? Or? Yeah, go ahead and just read the names. We don't have to get into them okay. too much, but I'm all alone in the world. I'm attuned to the force. I have empathy when I need it. Light Sworn the force, to the though. order. The Gray Order. I'm yep. a knight. I am fearless, and I will try to settle all disputes mm-hmm. with a calm demeanor. Very nice. All right. So I do believe that we see um, a. I think we follow a shuttle. Um, it's not quite an airspeeder, but it's kind of in the middle between a proper like space shuttle and an airspeeder. It's it's, it's a sort of like air taxi proper um that a rich person would take uh, to and from in terrace um not not open cockpit um but yeah this this kind of like speeder like thing that is going through the upper city of terrace we see the you know ec- ecumenopolis of terrace uh, spread out before us the the skyscrapers and the um smog filled sky uh and we watch this uh shuttle 
um, make its way to a nice noble estate. It's probably more like a big, uh, I'm imagining, you know, there's all these like really tall buildings on, on terrace, most of them skyscrapers. I think this is one where like, it's like there's a giant building below it, this like big skyscraper type type thing. But then there's like, it, the, the roof is flat and it just holds like a noble estate on the top of it, right? <laughs> uh, something a little bit more like you would see on like Naboo or whatever, right? Like an actual like kind of aristocratic looking place. Um, we see the shuttle land at the like the designated landing spot at the edge of this kind of estate. And uh, we see a man walk out. Um, he seems um, he's a he's a young man. Uh, he is um, uh, kind of just short, dark hair. Um, he seems self satisfied, and he he steps out of the shuttle and is surrounded by some like I, I think maybe some uh, Rodian bodyguards, um, two Rodians that are uh, leading you kind of like walking alongside him as he walks and is met by like a servant or two um, of the estate uh, of the Cray estate and is led to um, this kind of, you know, throne room esque thing where uh, Marie Carey is going to meet him. Um, and uh, yeah, so we see this, this man enter um, this kind of big throne room esque thing, large chamber, vaulted ceilings. And um, Marie Carey uh, looks um, nervous and, um, dissatisfied with the meeting we can already tell that she did not want to meet with this man uh and he walks in and uh i think we do get a like a pan around the room and see a couple of reaction shots from the three of you who happen to be in the room as well doing various things whatever you would be doing she has she has asked you marie Carey has asked you to three to be in the room somewhere while this meeting is is taking place where would you guys be what would you guys be doing Alyssa? Uh, put me on the spot. Why don't you? Yeah. Um. Am I not pretending to be Marie Carre right now? Or uh, you um... could be. That's that's perfectly <laughs> fine. So, um. Uh, no, I you... mean that's fine if I'm not. I just like. Yeah. Um, I think the if she doesn't is think that... she's in danger, then it doesn't make sense to to do that. Um. But... Yeah. I mean, she's she doesn't think she's not in danger, but she she doesn't think she's likely to be attacked in her own palace. So I think okay. she. My assumption was that it would be that she's talking to him uh directly okay then i will pretend to be her handmaiden so i will kind of be like just to her yep. like left or right uh kind of yep. a couple paces behind her just waiting patiently yep yep um and you're wearing like uh what like a long dress robe yeah. thing long okay. dress yeah. with the you know covering you know every pretty much everything except my face yep. Yep. With long sleeves and yeah sure like like the royalty on naboo had mm-hmm cool because uh, you know yes, everything's see. universal in star wars of course the fact yes. that it's huge <laughs> <laughs> that is that is one thing that i find hilarious is that like the original trilogy set the the template that must be followed for literally every star wars story ever there's always a death star there's always um the sith are always like just half destroyed <laughs> and have to have like machines that let help them breathe <laughs> there's always like the same things every time it's funny um yeah, so uh, d d did you describe like your like hair color or d I guess maybe we can't see a whole lot of, of what you um, like, picture. But... Um, I was trying to look at actresses while you were helping Brian uh, right. picture Elle Fanning. I don't know who that looks like, but I, I can Google. Uh, uh, cool. uh, she. Uh... OK, yeah, I, I found a picture. Yeah. So okay, so cool, cool. Um, blonde. blonde. Um, yeah, kind of a dirty blonde. Um, OK, yeah, sounds good. Okie dokie. Cool. Um, Will. Who's Na what, where's Nathrix in the room? And what's he doing? Hmm. So I'm wondering if... And technically, you could also be, like, in the room over just listening to the conversation if you really wanted to be. Um, whatever, wherever you think... And like, she, she wants you to listen in on the conversation at the very least. So whatever whatever Nathrix would want to do. Yeah. Um, what sorts of alcoves are there here? Uh, yeah, there, there's probably like statuary on the sides of the big throne room that she's in where you can maybe like, yeah, hide an alcove behind a curtain or something if you really wanted to be sneaky. I don't think I'd go so far as to be behind a curtain. I think I'd be like. Yeah. Off to the side, I'll have my thermal scanner out, um, not just listening into the conversation, but always like trying to keep an eye on where yeah. all heat signatures are any heat signatures like blasters people anything like that uh mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make sure i know where everything that is you know creating a heat signature is yeah so so are you like in a 
uh, the room over? Are you behind the throne room, the throne somewhere in like a secret alcove? I'm probably like in a in a doorway uh, into mm-hmm. another room. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I there's probably like um two um exits or, or like back corridors that kind of go beh- behind the throne room into other places. Easy escape routes if there, she's being attacked here. Right. And you're probably yeah like like just around the corner, just like waiting. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the doorway sort of thing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you have to roll for like uh, scanning the the thermal signatures yet. The, we, we watch you doing this, but there's no there's no risk or anything yet. So, um, cool. And then lastly, uh, or in Qatar, where where are you in the room currently? Um, I'm I'm sitting at the table as the okay. representative of the Jedi. Okay, yeah. So I, I didn't describe a table, but um, I. You can either be like standing before the throne. Um, it makes sense if you want to. You you could be like her negotiator and like just be standing near the throne, like waiting. Right, right. Either that yeah, or yeah. in the court. I don't know if you're thinking throne, like, uh, well, even in uh, episode one, she had her courtiers and everything like that. Right. So I'll be yeah, standing yeah, one of near the throne with the court. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Cool, yeah, and what, what what do we have for a description of you? Obviously, you have a prominent scar, but like, do you have um, armor? Do you are you in Jedi robes? What what do we? I'm in I'm in standard Jedi robes uh, with boots and stuff like that, more of neutral yep. colors, sure. um, brown and tan and some gray. Yep, yep. All right, cool. Um, and then you have a is your lightsaber visible on your belt? Uh, is it like underneath the robe? I guess it's underneath the robe right yeah. now. I don't yeah. need to pull yeah. it out. Yep, yep. Cool. I've been thinking about what blade it's gonna look like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let us know when you, when you when you pull it out, and that'll be a fun reveal. Um, cool. So yeah, the the man walks up and you to a respectful distance. He doesn't get too close. Um, you know, uh, Nathrix doesn't worry. Uh, uh he 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 kind of comes to a, a normal place where someone would talk to uh, the noble lady, and he says, um, "My lady, the name is uh, Davis Kang. I know that." Uh, you're, I'm not the first person you wanted to see on this beautiful afternoon, but I've been sent by the exchange. And uh, uh, Marie, who, um, you know, w- w- I think we can assume looks like uh, Elle Fanning as well, right? Uh, at least enough that you could be a decoy of hers, right, uh, Alyssa? Um, she is decked up in, yeah, kind of noble stuff. I don't think she's as decked out as, like, um, Padme was in episode one. She doesn't have, like, all the extensive face makeup or anything. Um, but she does have, like, you know, big earrings and, uh, like, a headdress sort of looking thing and, um, like, long dress. And she is sitting, like, kind of tapping her finger against the side of her throne, like the armrest of her throne. And she says, Oh, she's Dakota Fanning. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, she has a sister. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. No, you're, you're good. That's perfect. Uh, I think she says, um, speak, King. I don't have time for pleasantries. Tell me, uh, tell me what the exchange wants from me. And uh, Kong, King, I don't know. I remember how to pronounce that guy's name. Uh, King, uh, he uh, kind of uh, spreads his arms, like kind of like a, an Un- arming gesture, a disarming gesture, and he just says, "My lady, I, well, we can proceed if you wish, but uh, um, I did bring a gift." And uh, she frowns and, and says, "What do you mean a gift?" Uh, and uh, K- uh, Kang like you know snaps his fingers, and the, one of the Rodians like grabs like a little box from his like satchel that he had and hands it to Kang, and um, he. Uh, he he like takes a step forward and then like looks around looks probably looks at you uh, uh um the jedi the gray jedi uh I've forgotten your character name already or right. yeah um and it like it kind of gives you a look like am i allowed to come closer like are you going to pull your lightsaber out on me i i will not reveal myself yeah so you, you just kind of stand there looking at him yeah Calm uh, he, yep he 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 walks forward and then he just i think hands it to a core chair uh, he doesn't get too close. He he hands to like the nearest courtier next to you, uh, Oren, and this this courtier like walks up and like my lady, um, and so uh, you don't actually. You know what? Uh, th- I think this is the point where we should have uh, Nathrix make a, a scanner test. Okay. Um, on the, I was on gonna the box s- here. I was, I was gonna, gonna say, say I for think like would... flavor wise. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, uh, of course, like I'm not fully behind the doorway. I'm like watching out. I think I grip my pistol 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he starts walking. Mm-hmm. Just making sure you're in your position. Mm-hmm. Um, what were you going to say, Alyssa? I was going to say uh, maybe I would take the gift and open it if, if he says. Yeah, you're, you're going to be the one to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, what's the skill for scanning stuff? Isn't it scopes? I don't think you have it. I don't know. I I saw thermal scanner and it just said, "Hey, you can see thermal signatures." And I'm like, that yes, yes, cool. there is actually a skill to to work these. So, well, that sucks. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll we'll go ahead and uh, have you fail that. That'll be fun. <laughs> it's so it's right. called scopes. Yeah, scopes. What's that based uh, in? I uh, will check. I'm pulling it up right now. Perception. Cool. Um, let's see. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Ob four for measuring an object's physical dimensions oh, or material no. composition. Oh, no. uh, yeah, I think that's what you're doing. Ob four, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant eight. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! I actually did really well. That was not bad at all. Uh, I assume you don't want to spend one of your three fate points. No, I won't spend the fate here. Yeah, I'll just. Well, I have no a idea difficult time perception. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like I think to you, 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 there's, you can tell that there's something slightly off about it, and so you can you make a decision to you know jump out if you wanted to. Um, but there, whatever's in the box is slightly warm. Like it's like a fading heat. Could I use like? But you, you can't tell anything more than that. Okay. Would would my ordinance skill be able to tell me if it was like an explosive, a uh, primed yeah, is, explosive or something? What does that one do? Ordinance. Let's take a look. The manufacture, maintenance, and disposal of firearms and ammunitions. Um, hmm. I don't think you're doing any of those three. Uh, do you have like ordinance wise or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think you just like as a you know at like a glance or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. You could tell if it's a bomb. Like it, it you you failed your scopes test, which is to if you if you like if you had um, if you had the sc- scope skill and I knew it was a bomb, I would have like let you fork it in. Um, but I don't I don't think you can use it now. Okay. Probably. But, uh, yeah. So you again you can you can act if you want to. Um, but it doesn't immediately jump out to you as like oh it's gonna explode. Uh, yeah, Brian. Oh no, I, I have. Um, telepathy. Could I get a sense of the uh, intent of the man who's handing this device over? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you read his read his thoughts. Um, see if we can get a get a, a read on him. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Roll the die here. Yeah, sense and intent. Ob three. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Um, let's do. Uh, so if if you go on your character sheet, um, Brian, um, you can go to your skill to tele- telekinesis or sorry, telepathy yeah. there. Um, and, yeah, yeah. You click on the little D six there, and it will bring up some fields to to put in. So, um, let's take a look and see if you have any f- possible forks here, right? Um, any skills that would help you with this? Um, I don't know if you do. Um. Yeah, I don't think anything automatically helps here. So just go ahead and click through the fields and make the ob three, but then submit everything else as zero. Oh, so oh, wait, did I just put a three in there? Yeah, three as an as the obstacle. Yep. Okay. Uh, Arthur dice. No, no zero. Uh, sorry. Um. So go ahead and cancel it. Um. So when you click on it for the first thing that comes up is um help and advantages. You'll put a zero there. And then the next one will be Arthur, put a zero there. And then the next one will be Ob, will be Obstacle, and put a three there. Oh, okay. So zero for health, four to advantages. Yep. yep. Zero for Arthur. Yeah, I'm assuming you don't want to spend your one percent of points on, on this. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah. All right. Yep. Um, uh, so you one. failed. Uh, if you would like to spend one of your three fate points, you can reroll one of those failed dice. You would have to get a six, and then it could it reroll into another success pretty unlikely one in 12 chance of it happening with the amount of uh, successes you need um but if you'd like to take the long shot you can okay i'll try it once it yeah works, you know, yolo. Works. yolo never know. drive the characters like a stolen car you know so what do i do 
Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and take a one fate point off of your pool. I'm going to put it in telepathy there. And then uh, go to the very top uh, where it says fate. Right there, there should be a D6 next to that. Um, put in um, two for the remaining obstacle and one for the dice that you're rolling in those fields there. Thank you. Two, I gotta say it. Submit, then one? And then one, yep. Mm -hmm. If this if this works, this will be... Uh... Oh! Oh! <gasps> What in the world? How? <laughs> <laughs> that was so unlikely. Freaking beginner's luck. <laughs> it says luck on it. I'm not going to argue with it. <laughs> the force God is, is sovereign you, in right? all things. So even yeah, in my yeah. force work. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, That's so, wild. Um, so you, you can sense that his intent is not to kill her. Okay, like you, you managed to read his mind. We see, we see you reach out with the force. The, the, the slight kind of maybe, maybe like a minor key version of the force theme starts playing. Uh, something a little bit more sinister sounding as you're like kind of trying to reach out, um, and you get his intent. Um, you know, his surface thoughts and stuff are kind of like coming to you, and you can sense that he's not trying to kill her. He's trying to intimidate her. Whatever's in the box is there to intimidate her, not to like hurt her. Okay. Um. When when I get that like iffy feeling about it i want to com link over to um Alyssa. what's your character's name uh xena xena i want to com link over to xena to have uh uh the the gift be opened by uh the the other the party. noble yeah oh, oh by no by davis but davik yeah I, I, I want I want him to open it himself and show us. Okay, so how does uh, Zena follow that order? Or <laughs> um, so so you want me to give the gift back to him so he can open it up in front well, of like, her? That's so <laughs> impolite. <laughs> but is. like bef before, I'm thinking like as they're walking over to hand it to you, I'm like. Uh, all the the gift sh should be. I'm gonna be like protocol says the gift should be opened by the 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 giver or something. Uh that sounds like an etiquette test to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'd have to make an etiquette test. <laughs> well, one of you would. I. It sounds like it's maybe. Yeah. I guess you're the one who actually has a skill. Right? I have. Well, I'm the one who is gonna have to do it because he's like That's behind true. a That's door. True. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So are you gonna are you gonna do what uh, Nathrix said then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. <laughs> do I follow? It? I I guess so, right? I mean, he is kind of in charge of her security, so I it guess like I it, probably yeah. would. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, well, you go ahead and describe for us what odd? you actually do first. Uh, go ahead, yeah, describe to us how you do this, and then we'll we'll see if you can get any forks or whatever, right? Based on how how that goes. Okay. Um. So, okay, so he, he takes out the gift, and I think he tries to, like, hand it to another... He, he I described him handing it to a courtier that was, like, standing next to um, Orin. Orin. And okay. uh, the uh, the courtier was going to come forward and give it to her. Okay. Um, so... <clears throat> May I... <laughs> can I do something? Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I trip well, the well, Cartier? Yeah, well, yeah. You want to trip him so that he drops the package and the package open just opens. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, so you, we we calm link you, you calm link that to to Zena, but she, she might not get a chance to do it if. <laughs> oh, I, I I'm I'm trying to keep a cool demeanor. I'm not calm linking anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, Nathrix oh, oh, comlinked Xena. And, gotcha. and well, so this is the thing, you probably are all passionate of the same, you, you, do you have a comp, comlink, Oren? I do, yeah. Okay, you're probably all passionate of the same thing. You would have heard this. Are you intentionally, like, going against what Nathrix said? Um. Because that would tell um, us something about oh, your yeah, character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only because, um, if this, if, because I know the intention of yeah. what he's trying to do. Yeah. So I'm trying to expose his intention by accidentally causing it to drop open. That would probably be one of the least intimidating ways for it to happen too. Whatever, opening whatever's in the box is like the, the courtship trips and then spills out. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. It's not presented in this intimidating then, fashion like he was hoping. And that would keep that would keep them from becoming too obvious in sure. the situation. Sounds good. 
Um, you're right, because if Xena's like, no, 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 give it back, give it back. <laughs> you're just like, oh, no, I'm not going to let that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, cool. So let's let's just have you probably roll a speed test, I think. Because like speed is kind of like your footwork and stuff. So let's let's just have you like, yeah, like reach out and and we'll just see if like the guy n- happens to notice. <laughs> um, I'll give him like an average um, speed for like a healthy individual. Um, so you're uh, ooh, pff, OK, you rolled really well. Your ob is three. So ob three speed test. OK, so trip him. Otherwise, I'll, the courts here kind of like dances out of your way. And it's like, why did you try to trip me? <laughs> uh, can I use uh, telekinesis? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, you're just going to make him trip with your the force. That makes sense. Yeah, um, I could I could either do it with the force. But yeah, I would probably try it with the force. Well, yeah, that makes sense to me. Right. Um, Let me just real ch- quick check uh, telekinesis and see if there's any other obs that I, we need to pay attention to. Telekinesis. All right, what does it say? Seizing, yeah, okay. Oh, so I'm uh, helping advantages, zero. Yeah, so um, I think this is going to be, this is actually better for you. You don't have to go against that speed test. Um, I'll have you just do an OB2 telekinesis test. Um, okay. In terms of help, I don't think you have one that makes sense here. If you happen to be describing doing it in a particularly dark, aggressive way. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, so. so uh, yeah, go for it. Yep, Arthur dice, zero. Yep, yep, and then obstacle two. Make him stub his toe while he's doing it to get that mm-hmm. hate. There you go. Good roll there, yep. So um, you, you, you know, reach out with the force, just like, you know, we see you twist your hand slightly and the guy... <laughs> Uh, trips and the the box hits the floor and opens and a like a green alien hand kind of like That's comes out. Thought. I was like, yep. oh no. Um, and uh, all of you would recognize this hand. Um, I think it's like the fourth of your little like band of we protect the queen, the prince, the noble lady here. It's what I, I don't know what other role there would be to fill here, but like uh, maybe like the guy in charge of the military stuff uh, or something, right? Like her personal bodyguards or whatever. Uh, um, or maybe that is you. Um, the people on terrace were extremely xenophobic, so I don't think something. Uh, there's plenty of exceptions uh, to that to that rule. Um, uh, you're you're probably right though. This lady probably didn't have uh, like uh, Dava Dava Kang doesn't care about it. Um, he has Rodians here, but um, yeah, you're probably right. It, it's probably a human hand. I, I guess I I just wanted it to be um immediately obvious to you guys whose hand it was. So maybe there's like a ring on it or something. Um, right, like the ring of the noble house or something. Um, so I, I'm imagining this was someone who was sent to the exchange to try to reason with them and, and it's it will reveal why this is all happening in a second here but um all of you would immediately recognize the hand as like the person she sent to go deal with the exchange when they were causing her trouble and so <laughs> well, <laughs> the hand just <laughs> pops out and uh davik uh looks like slightly disappointed that it like happened that way but then looks up and tries to make the situation count and i think um he's gonna yeah look up at the the noble lady at uh, marie uh, marie and say um I'll let's put it this way, my lady. The exchange doesn't deal light doesn't deal well with threats. Yeah. What do you do? Death horse? You do something? So, um would I have the like permission to come out with my like hand on my holster and say like neither do we is that something sure. yeah is that yeah, something that i would have the permission the right to do here um i think it's dancing on that line she might yeah. reprimand you for it later but it's, i don't think that you're, you're you were explicitly ordered not to do something like this so okay i'm i will do that then i'm gonna cool. round the corner fully nice. step out like making sh- flaunting my holster and say neither do we uh so real quick did you just i may have missed it but did you describe nathrix for us like is he a human i i didn't uh nathrix is indeed a human um humanity first uh 
he's he's in a, a taller, more like brown uniform. He's got a uh, uh, darker, pretty dark brown hair, very clean cut, a little bit longer on top, but like mm-hmm. still like high and tight military. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's got two holsters on his hips. Uh, one's got like a proper gun and then the other's got uh, a blaster. He's there got is. some some padded padded armor on. Yeah, um, I think as soon as you come out, right, and say that neither we, right, and uh, the Rodians immediately like put their hands on their weapons too, right, their blaster pistols, and um, Davik immediately is like, hey, hey, wait a second, let's all calm down here. There's no reason for pulling out blasters right now. I came to deliver a message, and I've delivered it. And uh, real quick, I want to make a roll for him. I don't have a character sheet for him, but uh, I'm going to re- make a roll real quick just to intimidate her, right? I want I want to see whether or not she's actually intimidated or not by, by this. Um, let's see, what is... Uh, I'm imagining, let's give her a will of five, but I think Davik is good at this. Um, so he'll he'll have some... For, uh, a high a high intimidation skill and some forks to boot. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Of five, okay, doesn't doesn't make it. Um, apparently the uh, I I did recently look at the Burning Wheel book again, and it, it said does say named NPCs should be given a persona and a fate to start with. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and have him um re-roll that six, and we'll see if he happens to get enough. He needs uh the same odds as um Brian, but nope. Yeah, so, I mean, she's still obviously shaken by it, but, like, she, at the very least, she holds herself together in the moment here. She doesn't look obviously intimidated in front of him. So, um, I think uh, Marie looks towards you, um, Nathrix, and says, um, if you'd be so kind as to escort our guest out, I believe we're done here. Yes, my lady. And I'll walk over, um, taking yeah. my hand off the holster of course but like keeping keeping my arm ready and like yep. noticeably so yep um i think as davik uh, turns and like is like nods to you like okay that's fine we're done here he does say uh, kind of like with a backwards glance over his shoulder he says the exchange needs its debts uh, or the, sh- the exchange is going to call in those debts tomorrow 24 hours marie you have 24 hours or else uh, or else we're coming for you. And then they, and then he leaves. Yeah. Man. So, um, I think you were all aware of the fact that she had gambling debts, but it does sound like you, I don't think you were aware, you were aware that they were bad enough that the exchange was going to threaten her life and kill her like bodyguard. <laughs> right. Uh, it, apparently they're pretty sizable. So, um, as soon as Davik leaves, she seems very shaken. Um, and like, obviously, Nath- Nathrex is um, l- uh, leading them away. But at least for Orin and um, Xena, uh, you both see her slump uh, and like put a hand on her temple and like, oh, like <laughs> super stress. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, she'll like bend over and like gently grasp her hand and be like, my lady, it'll be OK. No, it it won't. This is... What would my father think? And then he, she looks up and she says, all of you, leave us. But then she gives you, Oren, a look like you're expected to stay. And then Xena, you're always expected to stay. So, the, But the random like courtiers and bodyguards and things kind of file out and go into other places of the, of the palace. And it's just the two of you. Um, and obviously, Nathrix, I, I don't th- assume you like after you actually do you lead them all the way back to the shuttle or do you hand them oh, off i'm the walking with them i'm the walking back. okay yeah i won't well, well, board the ramp or anything but i'll <laughs> get right up to that line kick their butt as they <laughs> as they get on the shuttle yeah oh yeah as um, as one of the the people that's coming with them is walking i'm gonna do that troll thing where i tap his foot on his upstep uh, yeah <laughs> right <laughs> Um, so here, here's a question for you, uh, Nathrix. Are you uh, planning on saying anything to Davik uh, on the way there? Should we cut to that scene at some point? Or do you just do that and then come back? That's a good question. Come back to me later. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll, we'll play out this exchange between the three of them here first. Um, 
yeah, so so the the rest of the courtiers leave, and it's just the two of you in the room now. And I think uh, Marie says, "This is this is why I wanted you to be here. I I don't know what to do. I need help. I I don't have the money to pay them back, but twenty four hours." <laughs> like sucks to be you sorry uh no it sucks to be me because i'm gonna have to pretend to be her when they kidnap uh -huh. her tomorrow uh -huh. yeah um and kind of right now i just kind of want to open it up like obviously nathrix is going to come back and have opinions too but um the goal with this one shot from from my perspective is to open this up to okay this is her problem how are you guys going to solve it right Right. What, um, what what avenues would you take to, to attempt to solve this problem? What is the and, uh, what is the amount? Oh, and she yeah she gives you something outrageous like hundreds of thousands of credits that she does not have. Now is it because she's a gambler or because her fam family member was a um it's unclear i don't know if you like you knew that she had debts um you know what it's probably not gambling debts um that's a, that's probably is out of her out of character for her it's probably like i, I, I maybe you guys have an idea what would be something that she would have spent a lot of money on spaceships <laughs> well, i guess oh but... oh um what if she like invested in a um, a set of a little freighter fleet and they got blown up in like yeah. some asteroid cluster? Oh, you know what? No, I think this is I think this is what. It, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for, what you guys know is that she and maybe she just reveals this to you now. She's like, I, I, you know, I had some debts from my father. That's how this all started with like the exchange, right? Like uh, my father had gambling debts and I, that's what started. I was making good payments on them though. Like things were going well. And then I made a gamble and I, not an actual gamble, but a, you know, more, uh, you know, economic business gamble and yeah, invested in like a company or a fleet or something, um, that, uh, totally failed. And I lost all, like I, I put everything into this because I was sure that I would be able to repay all my debts and like have him get a good night a life for my son and like everything would be fine as long as i could this would work out and i was guaranteed that it was work out that it would work out like right like it, it should have worked and it didn't and now i'm dead broke and i owe a lot of money to the exchange because like, i think probably what happened is the debts she took to put in to invest in this were from the exchange because that's what she knew she knew that they had money and she already had that's them already so she's like ah what's another couple hundred thousand it's fine so yeah, dumb on her part, but it wasn't like she went to the swoop races and gambled all their money away or anything. So it was the mm. early aggression from the Mandalorians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it may it may have been. Yeah, right. She may have like invested in a space fleet and it got destroyed by the Mandalorians on the outer rim. Uh, does yeah, does Oren or uh, Zena have any immediate thoughts for her, or do we like cut the scene there and then like we see all three of you in conference trying to figure out what to do? Yeah, I, I think uh, <laughs> Oren's, Oren's calculating in his mind. He's going, well, the order has enough money to pay off her debts, and then we could just take her kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost certainly not. Um, but... <laughs> Jedi usually don't have uh, yeah, possessions. Yeah. And especially, it's just like one enclave instead of like the entire Jedi order, right? Yeah, so, right, right, right. Yeah. Let's just yeah. pull a Qui-Gon Jinn and, you know, gamble for a child. That's true. You can make a worse gamble. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Here's a dice. Forgive the debt or take us all. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And then just use your, you know, power. You know. yes, you uh, unlikely to that you'll get <laughs> Yeah. Unlikely that you'll get the same luck that time, but Um, I think I think I know what I would like to say as I'm as they're Usually leaving. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know exactly how to go about it, but I would like to do some sort of like soothing platitudes to maybe make the time constraint at least a little less strict. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like beg them for a little bit more time and on behalf of your yeah, lady. Try and sure. try and like calm them down so that, you know, they're not so high strung about getting their money back. Sure. Yeah. What do you what do you say? Um. Now, uh, 
I'm not sure what's customary with the the exchange, but a 24-hour notice for this mountain of debt? That's a little harsh. I mean, if you get rid of the person who owes you, I mean, we can't we can't get you that cash that you need. So if you give us a little more time, we'd be able to get you more, if not all, of what we owe you. Yeah, so he'll have several responses to that if you fail, but um, which I think you'll likely to. Uh, Ob5, that's his will. Oh, no. You got a two uh, in Are you even to trade in soothing plots? He, has, he has a two in it, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I don't think he has any forks, though. So uh, You have observation on here twice, by the way, Nathrix. Oh, oh, my bad. Whoopsies. Oh, the... Uh, the three is correct. It's not a four. Oof. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that didn't work. Would you like to take the that same gamble work. or a similar gamble? Um, uh, you got a six. You know, we'll try and make this less severe for myself. Um, if you if you spend two fate, you can reroll two dice. I. I'll do that. I'll spend two stolen fate. car. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh man. Didn't you say it was an ob five though? Oh, it is an ob five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's back up from that. It's, it's ob five. So you, you, I would probably not spend. It. It's just. Uh, but I, I'm just. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now it's gonna also, be. What, you what have you until the sunset to, to get. <laughs> Oh, I don't well, know why I had advantage. Look, I, do you want to just roll it again? Let's. You you did several things wrong in that. So let, let's. Just I roll it I didn't put the the issue is I didn't put advantage dice there, so I don't know where that. Yeah, from. I don't know what happened. Just gonna do it again. We'll see. See what you get. Hey, you know hey, that's better. It's better than it was. <laughs> Would you like to spend one fate and uh, have to reroll it three times? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So you can get uh, challenging on your will, but uh, cool. Yeah, so she says, <clears throat> um, no offense, soldier boy, but she's had plenty of chances before this point. Um, uh, I don't know what she's told you, but she's had uh, uh, this this latest uh, message is, is simply the last in a long line of messages. Um I'm sorry if that uh, ruins your perception of your perfect lady, but uh, that's the way it is. Fair enough, understandable. And he he puts he kind of tries to clap a hand on your shoulder if if you let him. I'm too downhearted right now to yeah. stop him. Yeah, so he claps claps a hand on your shoulder and he says, "Cheer up, kid. If you lose your job and we take this entire estate, I'll put in a good war for you. I'm sure the exchange could use your skills." <laughs> that does, walks back that and just does shoots raise her in my the face. spirits that does <laughs> raise my spirits all right yeah so they they leave um do we just cut to a conference between the three of you then i think so cool. i'm done so what is the plan um well, i'll dress up as her and then we'll stage her death um, okay, well then they would just like def default her estate would default to them, <laughs> and she would they would just take everything, which I guess you yeah, could do if you so, if you're just like okay, just save her life, right? I, we could like take a bunch of her possessions that she does ha have, and she could escape somewhere else with her son, uh, probably to the hey, Jedi, the Gray Jedi Enclave. That's and, actually not a um, bad idea. No, not a bad idea at all. We will just uh, use me to uh, as a distraction to make her death. Okay. Uh, is this something you're going to present to her then? I don't know. It's just an is, idea. Is fine I'm with this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I guess the question first? is the question. I guess the guest question is is what is uh, what's what's the woman's name again? Uh, Marie. What is, what is Marie willing to lose in order to be free of this debt? That is the question. Uh, you'd have to ask her that. Um, right. I'm assuming yeah. we'll probably come up with a couple plans, present which one we think is the best, and then go from there. Mm -hmm. Because she, she could technically pay off the debt by letting go of all that she has in assets and giving it to the 
uh, giving it to the exchange. Keeping her life and her son, mm -hmm. she would be destitute. Well, yeah, I don't know how much of a keeping her son would be in there. Right. <laughs> the <laughs> I would have her. I have no idea yeah, what she'd mean. have to defend. <laughs> <her life. laughs> it sounds like she enjoys a life of some freedom from the mm -hmm. Jedi, um, despite the fact that she married one, apparently. Um, Only because she's a noble. She has she has a domain right, but that's to what I'm saying. Though, if 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 I if we fake her death and she's able to make off with some of the possessions she still has, then maybe she can, you know, get set somewhere. up somewhere cozy. So, yeah. yeah, cozy on another planet somewhere. I'm sure she's got some relatives somewhere. <laughs> possible they're all they're all dead. Uh that's possible too. But you know, you never know. Where? Is the exchange like where does the exchange keep their central computer? Um, that would be a test. Oh, are we gonna just like this? erase her debts? I'm looking for like more general knowledge. Is it on planet? Um, I don't think you know that information. So this, I think, okay. this is a test of some sort. Um. Yeah, let's and maybe it might, it might be intrusion because you might be ha you might have to hack into something to okay <laughs> to get this information in the first place. Um, but then, yeah, that's a, that's a, not a bad thing to to try to find out. Um, let's see, exploiting weaknesses and security. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, brute force computer access. It sounds like an op five. Yeah, you, you op five intrusion test. You got to brute force access to a computer that you don't have access to. Okay. Um, Any forks? You'd, oh wait, what does circuit? What does circuitry do? Um, circuitry is design and assemble electrical systems. Yeah. Okay, it might be this instead, actually, because tapping a network or rerouting power. Crafting my computer transceiver. Yeah, let's do an ob three instead with circuitry. Could I fork in intrusion? Yes, certainly. And what about mechanic? I don't think so. Mechanic is like for vehicles and stuff and robots. Okay. Actually, I don't think it's for robots. I think it's just vehicles. So ob three. Uh, ob. Three. Yep. Ooh, oh close. goodness! Two sixes. Two sixes. I'll spend a fade on that. Just one. Yeah. Cool. It's a good chance. All right. Eight remaining. Ob is one, and I'm rolling two dice. <laughs> Wow, uh, that was that was terrible. That's the inverse of Brian's luck. You you should have succeeded, and you completely failed. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. Like the the exchange has just too too tight of security. Uh, you're you're not able to get in. Um, I think you know that if you could get access to one of their terminals, you could make an ob five intrusion test to brute force their computer and get this information that way. But that would involve you know breaking into their <laughs> facilities. So. Mm -hmm. It might be also cool. just a little suspicious that all of a sudden it's zero. <laughs> right. Well, I, I don't deleted. know if that was his plan exactly, um, but you could at least fiddle with something, maybe. Yeah. Sounds like the only plan posited so far is give up <laughs> and try to fake her death. Um, I, I, mean, I would like to propose an attempt to fake a payment. Mm. Maybe to get her time to get off world, or it depends on what we think we can accomplish. Because I are you saying I'm you want to you want to commit fraud <laughs> <laughs> and and like manufacture credits out of thin air and give that give it to them? Yeah, <laughs> or just oh. yeah, it's you know it's all digital. I can we can <laughs> just like put numbers in 
and sure i'm sure that's not how easy it is it's, it's like, like the <laughs> equivalent of writing a check that will clear you know a few days later just enough time for us to well, you know, I, get that's off what, i don't think that's what he's saying i think he's saying like actually make make up manufacture credits out of thin air <laughs> yeah we'll the stay digital in their ones account. yeah how yeah. does one even do that i i don't think star wars has cared about this before but um <laughs> That does sound like a circuitry test, probably, right? I don't, I don't well, know what else well, it would be. Yeah, and depending upon if it's all cryptocurrency or not. But um, Right, exactly. That's the thing. If it's blockchain, then good luck. <laughs> this is yeah. Star Wars. It could be anything. Yeah, exactly. But, but the, other, the other thing is, is that, um, from my understanding, the exchange has a pretty long reach. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like you can pass off fake credits to give to them and expect them not to respond wherever they go, wherever Mary. Uh, I think the idea the here, I think, go, from Will is is that the you would attempt to do it in such a way that you would never be caught for it. But I, I just I think we're all correct in assuming that will not happen. <laughs> I just don't know if we have the skills for that. Like no, exactly. I don't That's have anything yeah. to like about fraud it, it, other than making myself the fraud. <laughs> yeah. Very true. I do know calculations. That's true. Yeah, you can you can I, use it for like an academic work. skill. You have a call on. Um, I I do think the only one that's making sense to me is circuitry. I'm t I'm taking a glance through the the book here and seeing if there's a different skill that it might be instead. Um. Oh man, I, I should. Why didn't I give you a helping die for your for your circuitry? That was stupid. Do you have circuitry? Uh, no, something. but I have like security wise. Oh, security wise would help. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we passed by it. I I know, but, but I just yeah. like I always forget because I'm used to playing Burning Wheel, where we're all very much like individual, you know, in or separate. You're right, scenes, all doing your own thing all together. Yep, exactly. So, yep. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I I am not seeing a different. Um, my my guess is the thing that you would have to do here. Is you would have to, um, oh, security is a skill. Um, your security, oh yeah, that's probably not the skill. Um, you would have to probably break into some place that could manu, like you'd have to break into a bank or something and do intrusion there mm. to like. You you would either have to literally steal money. Um, <laughs> I don't know if our lady is for or, that. Yeah. Or you would work. have to make a really difficult circuitry test to fake a blockchain <laughs> okay. transaction, right? Like, Well, what if we set up a meeting at a bank? And so the meeting is so that this, so that um, she can get a loan for the amount that we need to pay. And if that goes wrong, then, you know, we can try and steal it. So we're going to get a loan to pay off, to pay off a loan. A loan. Yes, <laughs> because now Walking they're the people that have been uh, wait, waiting for the money for a while are appeased. And now we have new people to have. Yeah, so we can wait another couple of months and then the same yeah. thing will happen again. <laughs> well, I mean... We'll make our payments <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have another idea here? <laughs> I get like these are I all mean, possible ideas. It's just like that, whether or not you're I, all I mean, honestly, I, I just don't know what bank is going to give her that much money. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think the Republic is going to bail her out like that. Probably not. We'll use the fleet as collateral. Take a note from. Uh, the fleet that just got Barnum. destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you have uh, faster than light communication in space, so I don't think that's uh, <laughs> as easy to pull off. <laughs> Again, you could attempt any of these things. <laughs> just how effective they're going to be. I, I do think question. that, like, there are some things that you could attempt without talking to her about it but like anything like stealing money or whatever would probably have to be run by her or you would just do it and never tell her ever <laughs> right I, I still think it'd be wise to find out what she what she stands to lose yeah because I ultimately, 
uh, yeah, it, it, ultimately it's going to come down to um, how much what she's willing to sacrifice sure. in order yeah, to, sense. to reconcile this debt. Which one well, way yeah. or the other, you know, either she dies and they get her kingdom, or she, you know, it's it's not an easy it's not an easy decision. And we can we can maneuver all around all we want with the with the machines and stuff like that, but we're going to end up finding that uh, in the end, you're just going to be causing a bigger hole. That sounds that sounds like Oren is saying that to her right now. <laughs> that yeah. sounds like it was in character, right? Um, I, I am so, in character to both of them right now. <laughs> oh, both of them. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We are in a meeting, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think um, Marie, Marie is here for this conference meeting. I think she's letting you guys handle it. But yeah, yeah, that makes sense that you would say that to them and, and ask for, like, this is what I think we should do, basically. Yeah. What do you guys say? It makes sense that we should let our lady decide what she wants to do. We can just present her some ideas that we've discussed and then let her figure it out on her own. I agree. And it's... We'll follow suit with what she wants. It's up to her to decide what her freedom is worth. Nice. Uh, so here's the question. Does, do any of you particularly want her to choose anything? Um, I assume that Oren would be very satisfied with come with us to the Grey Jedi, fake your death. Yes, right, yes. As the outcome. Well, no, my, my, my goal would be to make sure that her son comes to, comes to the order. Yes. That's true. She but, doesn't need to come. <laughs> but, yeah but in the process i'm also trying to think of a neutral ground what would it be to it's it's part of the thing how can we neutralize this so that it is neutral ultimately if she has that much debt she's going to have to give up her noble ship in order mm -hmm. to be clear of it mm -hmm. is she okay. willing to make that balance Right. So your your argument is that she should just sell everything and then yeah. come. And then my argument is, no, she should set herself up at least a little bit. And we should just take what we have and then then we can go. And and, and Will wants to try the, the long the, the long shot. Like, no, we're going to go out fighting. Like, <laughs> yeah. is, is that what's happening here? Yeah. OK. <laughs> um. Are you all going to present her these ideas individually? Like, what, what's what is that going to look like? I'm curious. I'm just trying to decide where the mechanics are going to come in here, right? Like, are we doing a duel of wits between the two of you? Or between two of you, are we doing a duel of wits to convince her of something? Are we just making a persuasion uh, tests? Um, are we doing versus persuasion tests? Like, what's I'm I'm curious. Duel of wits are fun. It's true. Yeah. Hate duel of wits. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I think you've lost everyone you've I have. Them, so, yeah. I used a rat man to take over a world using Duel of Wits. Nice. <laughs> of course there is another option. I literally got shut down once in a duel of wits because I was a woman. That was the <laughs> argument. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I'm still bitter about that. <laughs> uh what were you gonna say, Brian? Uh there is yet another option. Mm -hmm. We could talk to the exchange and see if they'd be willing to settle with a lower amount. Yeah, that's true. You could go straight to the exchange boss or something. Yeah. I mean, it sounds that's, like that's, they've that's pretty guys, much already. That's these pretty guys much are what not willing just to happened, negotiate. Though, right? Trust me. I <laughs> tried. The guy who just got his hand caught off and probably is dead, uh, that's what he just tried to do. So, yeah. Yeah. That you would could, be you the could. other option. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see if they would be settled for a lesser. You do amount. have a call on trait for dispute settler. Like it's it's technically. A thing. I do. So who wants to lose everything but their hand? <laughs> Any volunteers? Not me. I'd, I'd be willing to go. Ooh, we have one. <laughs> All right, so so my question here is, are you all presenting your particular plans to her individually and then asking her to choose between them? Are the two, or are what is one or more of you going to fold into one particular idea and try to argue for her to do that one? Um, or like what was? I feel like I would present my idea, not necessarily that I fake my death, but just that you gather your things and you go. Um, I 
and if faking my death buys you time, then I'll do that. Sure. But I just yeah, mean so, like, but so that's my idea. Zena is going to present escape. Um, N- Nathrix, what are you doing? What are you? I would like to not give up anything, and I want her to know that I'm willing to steal to try. But yeah. I I am much more willing to. Um, uh, I I'm also uh, okay with uh, going over to. Uh, it was it was Zena, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going over to Zena's plan. Mm-hmm. And then Orin, are you going to try to convince her to go to the Great Jedi? Uh, I'm going to present the uh, options as I stated them. So which were, sorry, which are those? I, I'm just trying to keep keep the options would everything. be either to give up everything, including her nobility, in order to pay off the debt, right, or go to to go to the exchange and try to barter a lesser uh, broker deal so that they hey, could have a lesser amount. Yeah, you, uh, if you wanted to play it like ballsy here, right, you could be like. Uh, have Alyssa's character pretend to be her and have her go and be like, I'm here. I'm going to come straight to you, exchange boss. I'm going to the top and I'm going to try to convince you like not to do this. Right. That's that's something you could do. Not not that you would actually send her to do this, but um, Alyssa could pretend to be her. Um, yeah. Yeah. OK. Could. All right. And and I could be her bodyguard. OK. Um, I'm curious. What are you guys interested in doing then? Uh, it sounds like there are three different or four different plans, being pre- but like there's three different perspectives being presented here. Um, that uh, like, I, are we going to have each of you make a test and whoever gets higher convinces her of that plan? I would be interested in going along with that plan where um, uh, Zena go and Orin boss. go to the exchange and then like I'll stay back and um, you know run, run interference and be the man in the chair for them. Well, I'll run interference and then like organize trying to like get some of the wealth up and ready and like be be very ready to go off world. Um and and flee if that's the case. A little bit of a compromise between Orin and Xena's plans. Mm-hmm. So whatever she could liquidate. Yeah. That yeah. Zena, are you going to fold on one of these? or? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with doing whatever as long as she's safe. That's bottom line, so. Because it, it, be, it would be best, I think, um, if you guys want to rally behind one plan and then uh, Orin can make the persuasion roll and then you guys can help him with it. Because I don't think any of the other two of you have good like persuasion skills or anything, right? So, um, I'm makes sense that... <laughs> Again, good for forking, but not for helping, not, not for uh, making the role yourself, right? Um, so that makes sense to me if we want to be like, here's the plan, we're going to... And, and so you would present to her, Orin, we're going to go to the exchange boss. And it, seems, if, it seems like the line where I agree with you. If that doesn't work, we're going to um, get off world with as much... Like, yeah, give up everything, basically, is the is the second plan. Or give up everything you have to, right? That, that makes sense to everybody? Sense. She can always go back to her husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, you tell me, <laughs> Oren, um, what does it look like? So the three of you are presenting this to her. What do you actually say to her? To What are you particularly telling her? And, and you know, what's, what's, the, what's that look like um, in character here? Let me make a roll. Um, I think we would, uh, as we walk in, I would lead, uh, with these two, not behind me, but next to me, um, as we approach her, mm-hmm. uh, we'll treat her courteously, you know, proper, proper circumstances, my lady, yeah. we have been discussing and we have, we have come up with several plans, but we've decided that the most fruitful plan that we could think of right now is to have you, or should I say, Zena over here pretending to be you, go to the exchange and barter a lesser payment while we are there. Sorry, what's your character name again, Len? Nathrix. What is it? Nathrix. 
Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. 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 When it, assist, end, yeah. when it assists you in what assets you can liquidate in order to in order to pay off this debt and bring things to peace with you. The only they, other option outside of this, madam, is for you to lose everything. And we don't want to see that. I think this is where my soothing platitudes help come comes in yeah got going uh, yeah. I, i'm not like, the smooth guy that's talking i'm just <laughs> or, or with that the the assets that we liquidate you could i mean leave of course uh if the negotiations don't go the right way okay um am i it. also allowed to help out with soothing platitudes because yep. i have that as well sure yeah, as long as you add something different from what uh, Nathan said. Yeah, I think um, she would like go up to her and like you know like clasp her hand again and just say like, "My lady, please let us let us try to help you." But if things go poorly, you must stay protected for you and your son. It's gonna be okay. You know that your husband would never let anything bad to happen to you. All right. So then the intent of the role is to get her to agree to specifically the plan to have Xena pretend to be her and go to uh, like, that's the, that's the main one that she needs to be convinced of. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the reasons of like presenting multiple different plans to her seems weird to me. Like, well, I, I think the idea is that like, if that that's the main plan, but if it goes mm -hmm. badly, you need to be willing to go. That's what the point I was trying okay. to make. Yeah, okay. that's, right. that's, right. that's 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 what I was yeah. saying too. Got it. So long Otherwise shot. We're gonna we're gonna that. take the long shot, and then if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to get, lose everything. Are you like right. you should be ready to accept that this is what we're offering you? Exactly. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Well, my my different proposal was, hey, you don't have to lose everything. I mean, you if things go wrong, we could just dip with the money. So falsehood is, is what you're presenting. <laughs> no, that's not I, falsehood. I, I know, do, no, no. So we the, could do that it. makes sense. That makes sense. You're trying to you're trying to ease her mind a little bit about it yeah. by presenting her like it, it doesn't have to be as bad as that. If but yeah. you know, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so this is gonna be an ob five test from. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll bump it up to six because she probably has a belief against this. Like, there's a reason she's gotten into debt and hasn't sold off stuff in the first place. Um, so it's gonna be a total ob six. You will get two help from uh the other uh, from Xena and Nathrix. Um but let's take a look and see if you have any other forks here. Is there a protocol um, droid that can give us an extra help? <laughs> uh no, we have not described it as such. Um <laughs> do you, are you gonna add in any command here? That's that's one angle you could take if you wanted to get that fork. Sure, I'll take the fork um the command. So what what would you be adding that would be commanding as part of what you're saying? I would be commanding in in the sense that this would be the option that must take place. Yeah, that sounds like ugly truth. I actually the the more I'm thinking about this, I don't know if you have any like jurisdiction over her really. So I, you probably can't like command her of anything. Um that is true. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I I don't actually think there's anything else to add here. Okay, yeah. So um ob six, two helps on their on your persuasion. And yeah, uh, obstacle six. Um, I don't know if your call on is going to help here because it's like, I don't know if this is a dispute, but we'll, we can look at it in a second if this fails. Uh, no Arthur dice. Uh, I mean, this would be the role to spend it on if you really, really wanted to try to succeed. But um, keep in mind that not having a persona means you can die. Oh, that's always fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Take the gamble. All right. He said six, right? See. Yeah, ob six. It always yep. pays off. All right. Uh, four successes. Oh. All right, close, close. Um, You have two fate remaining. If you would like to spend two fate, you can uh, reroll that six and one of those failed dice using luck. You have the same odds as last time that you did. You got them that or actually um, uh, better odds than last time. Cause you have two dice to work with. 
if you spend two fate. Um, if you fail here, this will be her refute. She's like, absolutely not. We are not negotiating with the exchange anymore. Find another way, right? Um, it depends on how much you care about making sure that's the plan that we, you, you do. There you go. Okay, uh, I'll use the two fate. All right. So yeah, click on that little die next to fate. Put in uh, two remaining knob and two dice. Ooh, so close. So close. So close, but no cigar. It's just, she seems like she's about to ag like agree, right? Like she's she's thinking about it. She's she's and then she just says, No, no, I, I can't risk Xena. I, I need her more than ever in a time like this. We the exchange is not going to be um the exchange is not to be reasoned with. At this point, they've threatened my life. I I I do not accept this plan. Um, you will find another way, um, to clear me of my debts. I want to uh, ask oh, then, oh, sorry. I want to ask then directly mm -hmm. how my, my old line, how much is your freedom worth? There must be other plans, Nathrix. It's too risky. It, it won't, the, too, too much risk for too little reward. I already sent Benrix. Um, well, I just randomly came up with a name uh, for that random guy who was sent there earlier um, uh, to uh, to deal with them, and they killed him. This there must be another way. Trek the exchange, uh, sure, but they cannot be reasoned with. There will be no more negotiation. I guess the real question is, are you willing to leave my lady? Um, he says, I, I, I can't. There, there must be another way. There is no other way. Madam, you are facing a dire situation right here where they will, the exchange will come in and take everything you have, including your life. Nathrix, you, you said that you, you said that uh, we could liquidate some of the assets and uh, give them a payment. Maybe that will hold them off. What's your so plan bad. after we hold them off? I don't know. That's what I pay you for. My proposal is that we fall back to the plan before nego if negotiations went wrong because we know that they will is that we liquidate and find a, an escape somewhere where the exchange can't find us. Yeah. Um, I think she says, I, this is everything I have. Everything I built is here. My father's legacy, everything my family has worked to build on Terrace for generations. I can't, I couldn't. She seems on the verge of like breaking into tears. <laughs> what I know of a militia group that is out to get the Mandalorians. Uh, it seems like a random thing to know. Uh, Wait, I why the Mandalorians? Because they're the ones that destroyed the fleet. I, mean, we're... I don't think you know that. Like oh, we, that's okay. uh, that, I think it was out of character us saying it, but I don't, I don't think it's uh, known. But, uh, okay, um, but, 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 but what we are if right we find somebody that space. wants to shut? Because I'm assuming the exchange is a semi, probably shady group. No. The exchange. If, yeah. Yeah. What if there is somebody out there that wants to shut down the exchange? What if we just shut down the exchange? 
Yeah, like it's a Tuesday. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> um... The only th- people I can think of, obviously, the well, Republic you know, and to... out of character, the Mandalorians are low key going to come here soon, anyways, and it's probably true. tear it it's all true. down. So, <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. You're, you're, <laughs> are you saying you're on to bring the Mandalorians here? Uh, I don't know how that would help her. Like, she wants to still survive, yeah, and stay here in Terrace again. The, the uh, basically, this is her pushing back on, on that. But you guys could pivot to another role and try to convince her of a different plan at this point, right? Right. She's just not going to negotiate with the exchange. But it doesn't sound like she's willing to leave either. That's that's what she's saying. But like, uh, like one of the things that's br- that I was thinking is that uh, Orin could very easily bring up like, what about your son? Like, you know, if they come for you, like, that's what really matters. Like, y- your family is what matters. Like, you can leave here and still have the house of like House Kare can still exist. Or something like that, right? Like because that's that's kind of what your character is trying to do is like get the sun, right? Um, that that's one angle we could take. Um, otherwise, yeah, we, I mean, you could uh, Nathrix, you could be like, I, I have a couple of cool long shots we're gonna try, right? You can try to get her sold on that, right? Yeah. Um, I, uh, Orin, um, you had another plan. I, I'm still feeling a little shameful about <laughs> my long shots. <laughs> but hey, the enthusiasm's there. Well, madam, you still. could still continue to have your family, even if you don't have a domain. You and your son still carry on the name. You still have what your father built, the next generation. You are not left with nothing. You have a future through your son. That's a good line. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to take a look at your dispute settler trait. Call on when trying to settle a dispute between two characters. Oh, no, that doesn't work here. Because um, well, it's you disputing with her. Basically. Yeah, exactly. You're the one disputing. That's not, that's not. You're you're not seeking the balance between two sides. Right. right. Uh, you it, are that, one that of the sides. <laughs> that would have worked at the exchange, just not here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is why you so, wanted to try to go where that direction. Yeah. So I'm trying to in this conflict, I'm trying to seek seek a middle ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I I think you could probably make another persuasion test to to be like. Think about your family, like what's best for you is to make sure that your son son is, is alive. And I think like if you succeed this, it would be she accepts and that just says, OK, we need to give up everything. Right. Like the, that. That's the way. Like, yes, you're right. My son is more important. What, what was I thinking? I've been selfish. If you fail, um, I think y- she will say that's probably our only option. But we're going to try to like I need to get out of here with as much money as I can carry. Right. That's going to be her her compromise with you. Um, because she is running out of options, she's not going to just keep refusing everything you you uh, request or you um. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Propose. Suggest, suggest, yes, yeah, suggest, <laughs> Lord. Um, but uh, she she'll she'll want to she'll want stipulations if you if you fail. So let's let's I, go ahead and roll see, that again. But see, yeah. I don't I don't see a problem with that. If she wants to take some things with her, that's not a problem. She just can't take everything with her. Yes, I think the, though that Oren would be is wise enough to her and her intentions and motivations that like it would be up and the situation that that would be the wrong like she would want to take way too much than she could even manage right like you would be constantly and fighting be with her, her and be, yeah, exactly be risking her more if if you can convince her to just be like what's what's the, the, what you're actually convincing her of here is what is more important your estate right. or your son right you yeah. want to say your son is more important. This is what's best for you. You should right. follow that path. And then, yeah, maybe you can get a couple of cash die worth of credits out of liquidating something. But um, she's not going to try to take her whole empire with her like she right. will if you fail, I think. Right? right. You guys will have your work cut out for you if you you fail. <laughs> but I think I don't think she has a belief against this specifically. So um, I will uh, we'll lower the up to five here. Um, would uh, would Xena or uh, and or Nathrix like to add, add anything to this? Um, I don't know. I feel like he's being shady, and I don't like it. 
or because I know because I know he has like alternative motives for mm, like right, wanting right. to do this. So I'm like, yeah. uh, yes, that's true, but I don't know how much I really want to give you that credit. Um, yeah, you could refuse to help. Uh, no, because I I want to protect her. So, um, and I mean <laughs> this 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 was an idea. Um, could I help with like some kind of like rhetoric? Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Just like Offer something a good I'll, argument. Yeah, just something. I mean, just something along the lines of like, there's no possible way that you are going to like pay off this debt in 24 hours. We we all know that, um, unless you want us to do something shady, which I don't think is in your character, and um, so otherwise, it's 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 the it's place your son first and leave with your life. So. True. Yeah, you can you can fork a rhetoric or help with the rhetoric. Um, Nathrix, what would, would you like to offer anything? I don't know if I would because Nathrix's moral compass here is not pointing in the same direction as Oren's. <laughs> yeah. But I do think that because I uh, I believe I'm also aware of the the desire that that he has to you know turn her son into an acolyte, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so uh, don't I don't use that word. I don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bad. I mean flashbacks. <laughs> I don't even Sorry. have Disney anymore, and I have Sorry. no <laughs> desire to connect with that whatsoever. <laughs> um. So I think I would you gotta, offer, you not offer anything. I think I would offer a word of warning that's just remember stay consistent. I th- I think that's what I say. I don't know if that's a soothing platitudes. No, it's definitely Fork. not. It's okay. So you just say like, that and offer yes, nothing else. Yes, it's it's yeah. just my word. Of, it's just my word of warning to All right. her. All right, sounds good. All right, you have uh, one one help this time. Um, Oren, uh, ob five. Similar obs to, or similar um odds to last time. Uh, you could spend your persona on this. Oh wait, uh. We try that. I think you put in the wrong number. I'm rolling yeah. uh, persuasion. Yeah. One help. Uh, author dies or persona. If I lose my yeah, persona, so- I could die. You're saying? Yeah, basically the way it works is like um the persona is spent to give yourself dice like extra dice on tests. Um, but uh uh having a persona is like kind of like a um safety net because you can always you can also spend a persona if you get into a like a situation that's gonna kill you, you can spend it to redirect the narrative away from certain death into something like frying pan into the fire, but um oh, okay. you, you don't die. Yeah, I'm not so, gonna use that. Okay, yeah. All right. I'll five. Back to driving the speed limit with a stolen car. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Oof. Yeah, that was nah, that didn't work at all. And you you don't have any fate anyway. So no, that's um, okay. All right, but cool. You yeah, know, and again, I, so she's gonna I, agree I, to the plan. I, oh, what? She's gonna agree to the plan, but she's gonna be like, okay, we're gonna get off world and we're gonna take as much loot with us as possible. Like I'm gonna rebuild a different estate somewhere else. Yeah. Right. So, so like now this. the plan isn't I'm taking my son to the Jedi Order. It's we're gonna just find a different planet to settle on. Uh huh. Well, yeah. no one ever said like... anything about taking our son to the Jedi Order. Yeah, that hasn't oh, happened fair. yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, you'll you'll have to find some other place to to settle down. Is, is the idea. Um, I think that's actually the question she asks next, though. Is like, all right, let's say that I was to leave Terrace. Where would I go? I hear the weather's good on Alderaan this time of year. <laughs> I think the weather was good on Alderaan all times of year. Exactly. Yeah. Um. I think she's like. Uh, there are already nobility. And there's already nobility on Alderaan. I don't think I would be able to institute or uh, squeeze myself into the ranks without uh, feeling lesser. Let's go to some. Let's go somewhere where there isn't any. Uh, let's go somewhere where the nobility. 
where where nobility is let's okay here, here, here's, oh. this is what she says let's go somewhere like terrace where nobility is bought and you know whether or not you have a, a suggestion we don't necessarily need to spend a bunch of time looking at all the planets or whatever but you could also suggest um at this point uh Oren to go to the planet that uh the, the gray jedi enclave is on uh do you know the name of the planet uh i have it somewhere let me look um it's in this chat i can find it uh odessen is the name of the planet madam there's always odessen she frowns i'm aware Oren. Do you, do you press it? She she she's almost dismissive with that comment, but you could press it. I'm not going to press it. Okay. Yeah. I made I made the comment. She's aware of it. Yeah, and I think she moves on at that point, right? She says, "Well, we can figure out where we're going once we figure out how we can get there." Um, Nathrix, how quickly can we liquidate all of my assets? Depends on how much you want me to tamper with the the markets. Um, she says. Nathrix, I'm counting on you to give me as much credits, uh, give me as many credits as possible when we leave Terrace. Understood. I'll see what I can do. She looks at you, Zena. Zena, I hate to ask this of you, but is there any way that we, I, I believe it was mentioned at one point that uh, um, faking my death was an option. Is that something you're still willing to commit to? I'm willing to commit to that. Um, I could also um try to secure passage and get on a separate ship and lead them astray to a different planet for a while and eventually meet up with you, you there. Um, Either those of those seem like promising options. options. Use your discretion. But I, th I think we should leave them a false trail or no trail. That's fair. Yeah. Um, she looks at you, Oren, and I think she says um If I was to go to Odessen, would I be able to see my son? Of course. You do not hide children from their parents. I've heard things about the Jedi. Are you saying that the, the Grey Enclave is not like this? We are not the Jedi. The Jedi is a different order. They serve the light side. They are not the dark side. Neither are we. Yeah, she says. I will give Odessen a trial run. If it is found that it is suitable to my likings and closer to my husband, then maybe, just maybe. And then she seems to remember something and she says, no, 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 I, I can't. I, it is I'm your sorry. future. It is your future and your son's. Choose wisely. Make one last persuasion test. <laughs> I know we've just been rolling this over and over again, but there's. A, I, I'm a almost. I'm almost willing to just use. I mean, I've got a lower, lower chance because it's telepathy, but using the force <laughs> to Is just a Jedi mind trick. Force, or? yeah, just mind. Go home and rethink your. Go life. home to your husband. You know the whole yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, uh, I got to keep my balance up. So I've, I've tried the goody two shoes thing. That's now true. That's like, true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming in. Hey, and hey, um, I believe that there's a thing here where um, if you call on the dark side, even as a light side user, you can mm -hmm. like get. Um, uh, get some dice by like acting selfishly. Um, let me see here. Um, I know she's not here. She's not force sensitive, is she? I don't think so. No. Um, I have a couple planet suggestions. When it gets to that, yeah. Um, man, where is? Hmm. 
I'm trying to find the rule. I know that like it says somewhere that like anyone can use hatred, but I don't know what I want to make sure I know what you can use from hatred as as just a normal. Um I don't know what else is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um. When the sorcerer tests a stat skill or their health to prevent the loss of something dear to them and fail, they may burn a persona point to reroll that test. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that's your option here. Is like if you fail, you can burn your persona point to try again. Um, but honestly, I feel like you could probably use your persuasion call on here because so? you're kind of settling dispute between her and her husband. Like, there's a reason, right, that she hasn't gone back. Um, sure. so I think I think we'll we'll say that. Uh, yeah. So let's let's do one more persuasion test. Would anyone like to offer uh, any help? Or, or no, sorry, sorry. Uh, you you want to do Jedi mind trick? <laughs> um. Uh, but we could do we could do both. Um, do you want to try persuasion first, and then maybe yeah. if that fails, then you go the dark side route. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, persuasion, same ob ob five. Um, but uh, I guess I mean Zena and Nathrix, you know what his goal is here. I assume yeah, no, th not this time I'm definitely not. This to me is shady, yeah. and so I'm like, no, I'm not helping mm -hmm. you with this, bro. What about you, Nathrix? Nathrix. Don't liquidate your son, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if that's a soothing platitudes uh, for um, I'm again, not, I'm you not can just forking. say things. That's fine. OK, just making sure. I'm just making working. Sure. All right. All right. So you have even <laughs> less dice this time. I got um, five dice. But you have a call on so you can reroll all the failed dice if if you fail this. So. Yep, five dice against all five. Four oh, five. the closest you've gotten. Okay, there it, you don't have any fates. So you can't reroll those sixes or anything, but you can no. spell spend your call. Do you use your call on to reroll one die? Um. Wow. So yeah, this, if this I don't works. Think, this is insane. This isn't open ended, unfortunately. So um, I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and. Are you okay with me rolling it for you? There's like sure. a little macro you can type in to reroll, just like a to roll a die and have it. So show you success or failure. Sure. Um, all right, here we go. Ah, oh, oh, so oh. close. After all that, I know. Oh, oh man, so so close. Okay, so um, you're you're really really close to succeeding. I wonder you've you've just done three difficult tests in a row. I'm curious if you've you're close to advancing this at this point. Probably need some challenging tests, but. Uh, oh perfect you needed all three of those difficult tests you just need one challenging test and then you advance it that would that's be crazy. impressive to advance a five in <laughs> a one shot in one in a one shot yeah that'd be crazy. Wait, you mean my persuasion goes to a six no not yet no, you need one more ch one more test and it needs to be a test of uh higher than your skill so uh you need oh, like okay. an op six or higher test when you only have five dice um uh, okay, so I'm trying to think of what this means. Um, I mean, it probably just works out like pretty much how we already described it, right? Um, but I guess you can try telepathy to mind tricker, to Jedi mind tricker. Well, is that is that where we're going? Yeah, yeah. To right. to to get past that, it's kind of like getting into her head to get past that objection. Well, real quick, so let, let, me, let me check something real quick. Um, you do have empathy, and I know you don't want to use it, but technically. You have um, answer the call when accomplishing the intent of a test would would fulfill a need beyond your own. You may tap your empathy, allowing it to help the tested ability. Well, I, I guess I should have. Um, should have had you do this beforehand, but I guess we didn't know this. Well, could I use the empathy with the telepathy? Um, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I mean, it's it's still kind of it, it is kind of scummy to uh, 
uh, to do Jedi mind trick. But I mean, the Jedi do this all the time for people's yeah. own good, right? Like, I want to go home and rethink my life. Don't like <laughs> they're doing it for their own good. Okay, yeah, I think so. You can you can tap your tap your empathy. I I don't think you have to spend anything. Yeah, yeah, you can just invoke it. Um, so you, you what do you have for empathy? I believe he's a four. Four, four. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's an extra four dice. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, you can you help the test ability. I see. It's not it's not tapping it. Um, I'm sorry. So this the other thing is here is like when the task of a test is an act of sacrifice, you may add all. No, that doesn't count. You're not sacrificing anything. Um. Okay, yeah. So the only thing you can do, unfortunately, is you you help yourself with empathy. So you don't get your full four empathy dice. You just get one. You're like helping yourself as if it was a skill or a fork, basically. Gotcha. Um. So, yeah. Um. Unfortunately, the ob is still the her will. <laughs> um. But, are you sure he hasn't just like grinded down her will? No, I don't think so. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. Yeah, she's not, well, and I hate not, I hate to be not, that person, but doesn't she have a belief about going there? Uh, yes. I don't know if Jedi mind. Well, I can check, but I don't know if the Jedi mind trick has a stipulation about beliefs per se, but probably does actually. Um, I'm just trying to give you the best chance you can have here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mind trick. Uh, in order to perform a mind trick, you must declare a simple statement that your victim is to base their behavior upon. This statement must be something that would make their life simpler, something that encourages them to avoid conflict or neglect duty. The result of the test. Yeah, so I guess I mean, you could probably frame it like we got to. That's the safest place to go to get away from the exchange, but. um, Yeah, you can try. Uh, the results of the test last for the duration of a single scene. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I, yeah, this is the, this is the issue. You, okay. So you could get her to call him or something, but I don't think you can get her to decide to go there because it will only last as long as the scene lasts. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you want, if you wanted to press her into like, like just, just talk to your husband, like sort it out between the two of you, right? You could, you could met Jedi mind trick her to do that. Mm -hmm. It does seem like you're running out of options here, unfortunately. You could also, I guess, just kill her and take her son, but... <laughs> That'd be pretty dark. That would be going into the dark side quite a bit. Yeah, well, that's he has a belief about it. He does. I, well, there's a balance to it, too, right? So... <laughs> I think you've been swinging pretty far to the light. A uh, good, a good dark side move like that would set you right back to the middle. <laughs> and then I could never play this game again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you think, Brian? None of your options look good. What do you try? I don't, I don't really see. Uh, Yeah, I don't. I don't really see anything else at this point. So, yeah, the, the um, issue with um, telepathy, though, is that like I don't even think you can muster enough dice to, um, for her even will. yeah to, to yeah to, for, because like you you don't have any fate, so you can't get higher than the amount of successes you the, the dice you start with. So I don't even think it's worth rolling. You're gonna just gonna fail. That's um, okay. Okay, yeah. So you, I think you've you've run into uh, the end of what you have available to you at this point. Um, and unless you were to like the only thing, other thing I can think of this point is if you wanted to act, do an act of self-sacrifice, according to empathy, um, you could be like, I don't, I don't know what you would offer her, but you would have to like, you could give up something. You could sacrifice yourself or something you have in some way, uh, in, a test. I guess it would have to be, no, oh, maybe it doesn't make sense for telepathy. Yeah, it probably doesn't. Never mind. Um, I think we've run out of persuasion at this point. No, at, at this at this point, I would just simply say, "My lady, yeah, you gonna... know, you know, you have 
You know you have one that loves you. But if you will not go to him, I will remain here and protect you. And I'll be by your side wherever you go. Yeah. She says, thank you, Oren. That is all I can ask of you. Um, no, 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 you know what she says? She says, I will not think of asking this of you, but I accept it as it is freely offered. It is. So, all right, cool. What's the plan? <laughs> uh, we need to secure passage off the planet. So, I'm gonna liquidize those assets. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So, so probably all. a circles roll, I would assume, to get a pilot. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can do circles roll to to get a pilot who can get you off world. Make sense. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay. Um. Now the the thing is though. So my, I don't know if I should fake like. What do you guys think? Should I just fake her death or should I just like uh, go like or should I just go to another planet and like get them off her trail? That you'll way. have to make it. You'll have to make it uh, conspicuous enough uh, that people will notice you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm good at that. <laughs> um. So, I think I could do that, but I yeah, I don't know. It just depends on which direction we want to go because I'm going to have to potentially get two um ships one for me and then one for her i don't know like it's not just my plan (laughs) well this is your part of the plan that's true well could one can one of you uh buy uh the lady a ticket to whatever destination they are going to and thus that would announce the exchange that she is leaving the planet Oh, okay. So just so I'm not actually buying, like I'm not actually gonna go. I'm just gonna buy the ticket, and then they're Ooh, gonna go to that ship. That's one way of doing it, right? So Use I'm gonna be like, crest. I am Lady So and So buying this ticket uh, <laughs> yeah. to go to this other planet with a bunch mm-hmm. of my stuff. <laughs> well, the exchange probably was already observing her assets and what she's making right. money on. Um, so. Do you one. <laughs> Buy one ticket to one place with a card and buy one ticket to another place with an under, with cash. underhand cash yeah. deal. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, right, right. So I, okay, so I, I'm trying to roll, basically, so I'm trying to roll you, you circles You can make a circles here. test to find a person who can set you up with all this, right? Right, right. That's yeah. my goal. Mm-hmm. Um, does anyone have uh, spacefaring circles besides, actually, do you have spacefaring mm-hmm. circles, Zena? Nope. All right. Well, there's I more guess it, pi- There are pilot. Um, yeah, that's true. You, you you could find a broker uh, instead of a pilot, right? Um, I mean, but there are pilots not in spacefaring. Yeah. Um, I don't know if uh, think... there would be one in the nobility or a palace setting, but probably probably not. I, I'm thinking we're looking for. Do you have a uh, glittering spire setting? I, it's all palace setting. All palace. Okay. Well, maybe Xena isn't the right yeah. person to make this role. I have glittering spires. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Well, let's check and see if there's someone in Palace who could help you. Right. That's that's probably the first place to look. Uh, yeah. You got. I guess you got Cadet. Um, Cadet. We got Crime Lord. You can find another Crime Lord. <laughs> Oh God! Right, because that's what I want to do. I mean, that'd be that'd be the sort of person who could actually get you what you need. I honestly, I think that's the person you're looking for. Okay, you, okay, you could do cadet if you wanted to. It would be a, someone you knew who was a like a pilot, right? In, uh, like uh, was a student pilot person, right? Uh, in the upper crust, right? Of and then maybe and so he had a palace setting, and now he's like, and now space, he's in space right or something, right? right, right, um, right. Or you could do crime lord. I think it'll be. Uh, let's see. Crime Lord, I think it's going to be an ob three for Crime Lord. It's going to be an ob. I think it'll be ob three for either of them, actually. Okay, so it basically just depends. Like, oh, there is a pilot. Oh, in no, the... no, sorry. In in Palace. Yeah. Uh huh. I see I it just, right here. I just uh, looked. I didn't oh see no, it. that's military. Never mind. Sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, my yeah. fault. My fault. My fault. You're good. Good. Um. I'm trying to think of the 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 ops here because uh, so both of them are not a 
uh, a life path you have. So it's I think it starts out at a base of three. Yeah, that's what it is. Base of three. So yeah, I'm going to say Cadet is four. Cadet is up four. Crime Lord is up three. Because a crime lord, you don't need anything more specifically to be true about a crime lord to get this stuff from him. Um, right. But you do need uh, something extra from a cadet to for him to be able to give you what you need. I feel like a crime lord is probably more um, Xena's speed, unfortunately. That's yeah. not really what I want, but yeah. um, that's probably the connection she has. Does, um, does anyone else have palace setting? You have palace setting? I, I think you're muted. I, I can't hear. You. Yeah, that's the one that I picked for for connected. Uh, Perfect. Connected. Nice. Yeah. So you you can give her help here with your circles. Uh, okay. Matrix. Can I use my reputation as an intriguing woman uh, to help? Sure. Me with this? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Especially for a crime lord. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's uh, five dice against a knob three. That that's not terrible. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Do it. Three. She says before she epically fails. Okay. Um, oh, you got fate, right? Yeah, I sure do. I got a six. Um, I just don't know if I want to spend it all on this because I'm going to have uh -huh. to also have the conversation too after this. Yep. And just flip the uh, coin. It'll work. Coin flip? Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> it's not going to work. That's not how this works. <sighs> oh, man. We gotta. It's literally just like this morning, Caleb. Do I want to stay on the horse or do I want to uh -huh. spend two fate? That's yep. really what this is. Um, yep. <laughs> crap. Um, yeah. I'm gonna spend one. All right. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so obviously uh, this is a crime lord who you've you know provided services to before. Oh um, no. And uh. He probably has like what, like blackmail on you or something? Like, what? Well, what do you think? What, what? What's the bad part of the relationship here? Uh, does he have something over you? Do you owe him a, maybe you owe him a favor, right? Maybe. And so you're you're already at a disadvantage having to go ask him for a favor yourself again. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that's what we see. Yeah. Man. So that's gonna be like a plus, like like what like a plus one ob or something to like convince. Uh -huh, yeah, so exactly okay. to the th right. and, and I think we're we're starting to run out of time here, so I think we can probably abstract a lot of this stuff. We see the yeah. the scene with the you. We see you arrive at the yeah the the estate of his you know, crime lord area or whatever, right? And uh, what 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 do we if we're if we're just getting like let's say it's a montage and there's music playing over it and we just have um we we see you talking but like, don't hear what you're saying. Like what what do we what's the visual we get from this conversation? Like, are you trying to um, I, seduce him? Is that what your play is going to be? I, I'm definitely going to fork that in for sure, but I'm, yeah. I'm I don't think that's going to be my base um, main skill. Yeah, main skill. Mm -hmm. Um, if I don't know, because I'm not want. I'm not like falsehood. Wouldn't be the because what you're trying to do here. is you're trying to get him to give you, uh, basically, like help you set up a I, falsehood. Right. Like a a, a, a decoy situation, or, yeah, 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 decoy situation, yeah, and, uh -huh. and and yeah, mainly it's like the underhanded nature of buying the real ticket so that it's not traced to you, right? Like you want to be, you want that to be discreet. Oh right. Um, so I mean, you could go for a falsehood if you lie to him about the reason you need this, but I mean, that's not a terrible idea. Um, I it, my other option, I but I don't know if I could use set soothing platitudes as the base for this though that's the promise that i'm not probably like, not you yeah, can use something platitudes to for, make him it, right. not want to call in your favor right um right right, like, right. you know um, make him like no 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 <laughs> well and honestly uh, now that you mention it maybe i would lie about the reason why i'm doing this because mm. i don't want to implicate my lady exactly um, yeah so i think i'll go with falsehood as my base yep. and basically you know like bite my lip a little bit and um <laughs> you know be like you know i'm so sorry about our misunderstanding earlier and mm -hmm. you know if you do this how can i ever make it up to you how can i ever make it up to you and you know well you could just do so the much... favor that you wanted <laughs> before <laughs> I, I would be so much more in debt to you if you did this for me first <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um 
Now, I guess the other question, though, is, well, okay, so I'm going as Xena. I'm not going as yeah, my lady. You're right? not going as Marie, no. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so I would probably want to also try to fork in etiquette, you know, like, oh, like, yeah. you know, like, you're so much higher She's than me. Setting. Yep. Um, <laughs> potentially rhetoric, I think, uh, like, sure, right, yeah, so, trying to a good argument. give him a good argument. Um, I don't know if I could fork in inconspicuous here, just like, you know, trying to be like, uh, um, this. Does, is, is inconspicuous listed as a falsehood? Ah, uh, that's a good question. question. I don't know. Let's take a look. It is not. So okay, yeah, I no, don't, that's I don't fine. So. Okay, so I've got. Oh, volatile secrets wise, do you have anything there? Um, I mean, I probably have something on this guy. Well, I mean, the question would be like, are what are you adding to your falsehood? as a volatile mm, secret mm, right yeah 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 like why is this like if you weren't doing a falsehood and you're just doing a persuasion or something and you could ju just re reveal to him what was happening with your lady that could definitely be a fork but i right, 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 right. think if you wanted to set up the whole thing like honestly but switch out the character of uh your lady with yourself being the one in the pickle that would get you the falsehood of the whole story. But, you know, the volatile mm -hmm. thing is that this big crime organization, this big crime bank is coming after me. That's a pretty explosive. I, I kind of like the idea that, like, um, you, you frame it as if every, you know, like everyone does was like, I have a friend who yeah, really needs yeah. help. And it and uh, like the implica you're doing like a reverse psychology thing where you're like the implication is that it's it is me. But it's you're actually just telling the truth, but you're yeah. also lying, right? Yeah. Like it is kind of a weird Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I like that. That could be fun. Does the cup in front of you have poison or just the cup in front of me? <laughs> um yeah, and then I don't think I have anything else. So the only other thing I maybe escort wise, but I I don't think that necessarily works here. No, he's not an escort. It, no, 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 no. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, I think that's what I've got. Yep. Okay, so one, two... Ob five. I don't think it would be any lower than that. Four. The crime war we're talking about. Would anyone come with you, or are you doing this on your own? Okay, so... Uh, okay, I've got five dice. Right? Okay, yes, five dice. Okay, that's an eight v five. That's not terrible. Um, no. Okay. Um, I don't. Stick up eight. I don't know. Would, would any of you come with me? I mean, I seem like you're all busy. I mean, unless or like Warren wants to come with. Me, I can go with. Um, to help her Matrix out. is kind of busy. Yeah, I. I, I guess. Spot. Like he is a Jedi though, or you know, great Jedi, but still, but like that that does seem to like paint the conversation in a different light. Uh, because you'd have to like explain why he's there, and uh, you you can make it work. I, I'm just curious what that would look like. I mean, that kind of goes with the falsehood. You know, the true are intent. You just, are you just like you know this guy's helping me escape the planet? Yeah, I mean, because that's kind of going with the whole like yeah, it's the truth, but not the truth. That's fair. That's fair. Um, what would you be just helping with persuasion then, um, Orin? Yep, I guess that's what I got. You know, the skill, the skill. I keep killing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just get to, you just get to succeed automatically on, or you know, uh, not have to roll these dice. Yeah. Into, what what um, uh, number do you have in persuasion? Five. That's two dice. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh, what would you be adding to the conversation in like a general sense? Because persuasion is like uh, doing something because it's in your own best interest, right? You're trying to convince someone of of that. Why, why would it be in this guy's best interest to help Alyssa? Is, is she Xena or is she playing the lady? Uh, she's Xena. Xena right now. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this is in your best interest. Or. 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're about to Period. Done. Yeah. But, Period. but why? Right. That's the, that's the question as well. Why is it? Um, for there's a profit that you'd be making in the end. Uh, he asked, and um, what profit would that be? Interest, of course. An extra favor. <laughs> mm, okay, yeah, that's good enough. All right, take your two dice uh, there, Zena. All right. Five. There we go. <laughs> hey! Hey! hey there we go. Let's go. Very good. All right, cool. Yeah. So yeah, you as what happens that, no when you have four katana of stuff, uh huh, yeah. and you only have a three <laughs> in the skill. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> Cool. Yeah, you can mark that routine there. And then, um, unfortunately, uh, this only gives uh, Orin a difficult test, which he didn't need. He has already all of those that he needs. So, um, but cool. Yeah, yeah. So that that part of the plan goes off fine. Um, you managed to convince him to help you. Uh, he can, you know, do his stuff behind the scenes. You don't need to roll for him. But um, uh, are you gonna then do? I guess we well, let's let's cut to to Nathrix. Let's just go, you know, through each of you one at a time in different steps of this plan. Nathrix, what, what's your first thing you're gonna do? Are you actually gonna try to steal some money? Like what's <laughs> What's happening here? I try to look at it. Ta- that's not the task I've been given. I'm going to try and uh, get this get this house, especially gone first. Um, so, you play a real estate agent for a little while. Yeah, uh, right. and and just everything but a mode of transport, and maybe some paintings she wants to keep. Trying okay. to get as much of it gone as I can, making the deals uh, pop up. You know, could I, like, hack in some hollow ads or something? Uh, sure, yeah. The, the, uh, I'm, I'm wondering what this is going to be, though. Like, I feel like the, the final role here is going to be, like, haggling or something, um, right? Um, well, I don't care how much money we get. I just want people... To... I'm the advertiser. I'm in marketing. <laughs> uh, right. So what's what's your intent exactly? I guess I'm confused as to what's happening here. Digital marketing. I got to draw a big crowd to come buy things that they think are a little bit more inflated in their value. Is that's the extra bit that's above and beyond. But I would like to draw big crowds just to sell it all. OK. All right. You know, I see what you're saying. Um, okay, yeah, we could make that a circuitry test. Um, do some digital marketing. Um, no, actually, there's a skill for this. It's called propaganda. No! <laughs> no. Um, you could make a circuitry test as a link test for your propaganda role. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you allowed to uh, help with a... Uh, uh... Be test, learned, yes. The being learned test. Yep, yep. Because you're just helping with your stat at that point. Okay, I was just curious because uh, I feel like there's got to be a way to do this inconspicuously. <laughs> like <laughs> you're literally just like displaying the fact that she's selling all of her stuff. I mean, and I guess your argument, right, is that well, I'm selling all of it to pay off the debt, you know. But yeah, still. exactly. Yeah, that's true. It won't. It wouldn't be too suspicious. Okay, yeah. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's have you do, let's see, circuitry, all this programming. There's so many different skills that are very similar to each other. Um. Uh, yeah, let's make it an ob2 circuitry test for the link test there. Sounds good. And, uh, can I fork intrusion? I, I don't think for this one, no. Okay. Sounds like you're doing this above board. Nice. Hey, yep, so you can get an extra good. die there on propaganda. Propaganda is based on will and perception. Um, and unfortunately, I think it will be an ob four because it's the base will of the crowd that is going to be propagandized. And these are all nobles, so. Uh-oh. I suppose you could get extremely lucky, but or you could get extremely unlucky. Um, yeah, I have but, uh... eight. 
That does yeah, because it doubles it doubles because he doesn't have the skill. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, so uh well you okay, so you could have rolled perception instead of will, uh, by the way. Oh really? Yeah. Um because it's just whatever's the one that's first on that list is the one it's okay. rolling with. So I'll I'll let you try again if you want to. I didn't know that it cared. Yes, yeah, it's whatever the first one is 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 what it's actually rolling. Watch you get worse. Wouldn't, wouldn't put it past myself. <laughs> yep. Got worse. <laughs> okay, so that, that counts as a routine, though, for uh, for propaganda. Um, yeah, okay. So, I mean, you, you try. You, you, uh, I, I think... I'm curious. What, what do we think a failure means here? Well, how does it get subverted or... Uh, well, you I see totally two options. Off. Either Nobody shows we get up. totally ripped off and sell a bunch of stuff, or we sell almost nothing. Yeah, yeah let's do that. For, let's do the first one because, like, <laughs> I, I, you don't have haggling either. So, right, like, yeah. I think this just we'll just let the failure ride here, and like, yeah. you do a, a fine enough job propagandizing it, but everyone can tell you're a chump, and so they just come and like take all of it from you at like incredibly low prices. So you're you do not get as much as you you could have. <sighs> uh for it i think i think let's maybe say what like two fun dice maybe a two okay. fund two die fund um which is certainly not what a, an entire noble estate is worth yeah uh but uh yeah we, we, we just see a montage of like people coming in like carrying out expensive vases and <laughs> right uh they and it has like t 10 cents or 10 credits uh, marked on it, right? <laughs> Everything must go. Everything and, must and, go. Yeah, Gosh, Marie so is like 50%. watching you sell all of her family's heirlooms for a pittance. <laughs> I actually I actually saw this on an episode of Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. <laughs> where where uh, uh, Mrs. Olsen ends up writing the uh, newspaper ads in a new newspaper, which is like a rag paper. And so in order to get revenge, uh, Laura and uh, Al end up rewriting the rewriting the ad so that anybody who could come in can get anything for free. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So uh, that happens. You, you, you sell some stuff, but not as well as you would have hoped. Um, what's what's the next stage of, of the plan here? Um, do we jump back to. Uh, Alyssa, like I, I'm imagining that at some point here, um, unless I mean, you're drawing enough attention that I, I think it's likely that someone is going to try to stop you before you leave planet. And that'll probably be what Oren deals with, with like the pr actual protection of the of the people. Um, but because uh, I, I don't know what else Oren is doing during this sequence, except for just like making sure he's close to the noble lady and making like protecting them. Right. Well, after helping Xena. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. 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 I'd be yep. protecting her, be walking with her and being around her. Leslie, I'm assuming I'm going to also have some guards to protect me, you know, to make it like believable. Yeah, she has guards. Yeah, she can, she can send some with you. Well, because the idea is that you want me to be more conspicuous. True. Yes. The next part of the plan is you pretending to be her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to make that conspicuous role now? You're trying to buy the fake ticket. Mm -hmm. I think it's conspicuous, right? Like yeah, you're just trying to draw right, as much right. attention. Yep. Right. Uh, okay. So you can fork um, in mimicry. So can mm -hmm. uh, cosmetics. Yep. Which kind of yeah? Because we're I'm pretending the to be yep. her. Yep. Uh, grooming wise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you probably use etiquette? falsehood. Uh, yeah, both falsehood okay. work. Etiquette and falsehood, I think, work here. Okay, and uh, security wise, maybe or ambush wise, because I'm like I'm trying to like. I don't think so. Uh, like, no. if you were tr if your your intent was specifically to watch out for ambushes or something, then yes. But you're, you're trying to actually draw attention draw to attention. purchase. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, that's that's five dice right there already. So I'm pretty happy mm -hmm. with that. Um. Okay. What's the ob? That is a good question. Let's do ob four. Oof. Yeah. Job four. Because, like, you have to do it in the exact right way, right? 
there's there's some nuance to this that is making it difficult. Would I be able to do like a linked stealthy test? No, like you, that would be you being stealthy, but I don't know. Um, I don't know how I that think would help me. her. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, because the idea, right, is that I want the right people to like. I want to be conspicuous exactly. enough that it hits like the right people. Okay, so yep. let's see. That's yep. eight, and it doesn't look too suspicious, right? Right, 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 right. Uh, could I make an argument then for like stealthy? I don't think so. Like, you don't need to be stealthy at any point during this. Uh, it's like okay. kind of the exact opposite of your intent. Kind of. I mean, like the idea is that like I want to be like. That, that's more like mimicry and cosmetics come in, right? That's the only disguise yeah. part of this. You being sneaky, like actually physically sneaky, I don't think is helping here. Okay, okay, fair enough. You're being deceptive. You're mm-hmm. not trying to sneak yeah, around. Yeah, so you have social, social stealth going on. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you might be able to fork in inconspicuous then. Okay. I wasn't that's sure right. if asking in, for inconspicuous I, as like, a for it is, for it is conspicuous. It seems <laughs> counterintuitive, but I do think because we're kind of abstracting this out to a larger thing a series of roles basically into one role um it makes sense that you would want you're you're trying not to draw the the wrong kind of attention you're trying to draw the right kind of attention Um, oh right i'm I'm fine with that okay cool 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 cool. yeah all four oh man (laughs) you put in you put in six artha wait what oh i don't know how i don't know how okay i'm sorry hold on i will re-roll that i was like that does not look right (laughs) (laughs) i mean you would have had to get every single die as a success for that Wow. I, well, that's why I was so shocked. I was uh-huh. like, what? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Six percent of voids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. No, you're good. Well, what the heck? Wait, what did I do? Wait. Whoa. Did you have six advantage dice? Yes. <laughs> you did it. You- <laughs> the exact same roll. That's crazy. Wait. It's not showing up. I see two of them. Conspicuous, conspicuous. Eight, four, I'm eight, four. Seeing one. Yeah. Good. Might have to refresh. <laughs> That's wild. All right. Well, there you go. You did wow. It. Okay. Well, yeah. So there you go. Sweet. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> um, All right, cool. But now I think the problem is, though, are yeah. people after me now? Or is the idea that, like, I bought this ticket and now I can, but I can sneak on, but now yeah, I can, like. that will be the question. Is this now a stealthy role for me to, I like, be able to get so. away? There right? will, you'll have to shake a tail, probably, right? Right, right. That's the idea. Or at the very least, yeah, yeah, you know what? Okay, so let, let's, let's pause on that for just a second. Um, what other, did anything else need to be done before you guys literally just get on a ship and leave? I want to shoot the guy that killed my friend. I think you'd have to come with me to do that. If you want any chance at that. Because they're going to be tailing me, so. Yeah, I'm mainly just asking, is there anything else before the ships? Because um, next it would just be, yeah, like stealthy or inconspicuous roles to get to the right ship without being noticed by the goons that are obviously going to be watching, right? Well, uh, actually, I'm I'm still going on a separate ship. No, you are. Yeah. Okay, just in case this goes or, wrong. Or, or That's actually, well, I I think we just said buy a ticket, but we could do either way. I, I don't know what you guys want to settle on. Oh, right, but my connection though was like. Hey, set this up for me that we have two ships. True. Kind of yeah, thing, that's true. Right? At the very least, the crime lord would be suspicious if you didn't get on the ship. Right. <laughs> so, so the idea, think? right, is that I want to be stealthy to get onto that ship, but if I can't, then at least she's still safe. You know, they'll eventually catch up to me and I will probably die, but, you know. Yes, yeah, so I guess the question is, some, is, is Nathrix, where are Nathrix and Oren going? Are they going with Xena or are they going with uh, the lady? Uh, I'll I'll be going with with uh, the lady, the lady. Okay, Oren. Brian, did you, did your character want to go with a lady or um? Yeah, I, I would go with the lady. That's what I figured. All right, yeah. So Zena, it's I think it's on you. Um, so let's let's do this. I think um, there will need to be. 
I guess you guys explain to me how this split is happening. At what point are you leaving from the estate and in what staggerer order, right? Like is Xena going first? Are you going second? Um, or what, what are you, are you taking a taxi? Like what's, what's the idea there? I think I'd probably leave first, right? Cause if they're like, mm-hmm. if there is a trail on her, right. Then they want, to, I want them to follow. Like the idea is that I want them to follow me, so that way then they can get away. Yep. Let's take away. Um, does this world have those big like pits down layers? I think so. Okay. Um. So, I'm wondering if we can take an elevator inside the building, down lower, um, like subsurface. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then make our way, you know, in in commoners stuff. Sure. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Over to one of those shipyards, and then you know, yeah, leave the planet there. Um, I think there will need to be uh s- several different roles here. Um, what the 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 things that I'm thinking is it depends on what your exact intent is, Alyssa. Uh, Zena is is Zena still trying to draw attention to herself? And then she's going to try to slip away before she has to get on the ship. Is that what's happening? Or what, what are we thinking? I, th- I think so, right? I think the idea is that I wanted to draw attention away from them, away from the estate. Like, so that way mm-hmm. they think that she's left. And then while they're following me, they can get on the ship. And then I will try to get on a ship. But Okay, so we, we maybe even be able to, should you just be able to um, exp- expedite this? Let's just say that when you went to buy the ticket, you were going to leave. Like, that was you literally... It wasn't buying the right. ticket and come back the next day. It was literally, I'm buying the ticket and I'm getting on the ship right now. Right. right? That's the, that's the okay, idea okay. I was going for. I, yeah. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. That sounds great. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking that you would like come back or something, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah. Are you going to try to slip off then before it actually takes off? Uh, not before they take off. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to go like go to a, de- a destination and then try to slip away from your tail. Right. All right, so then we need uh, a, a role or a series of roles to make sure that the um, uh, the lady gets to her own ship without being spotted. Um, there, you'll, you'll get advantage dice, I think, from Alyssa for having done her conspicuous, but there still needs to be a role of some sort here to make sure that she is not spotted. And I think one thing that would be cool to do, maybe, Alyssa, is do you want to roll cosmetics for me to dress oh, her mm-hmm. up, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Right, you're trying to because um, uh, Nathrix described you guys dressing dressing commoners' clothes, right? Like that, that makes make sense, right? To right, be right, like, right. Uh, okay, I'm dressing as you, and you're dressing as a normal, you know, bumpkin. Um, that sounds like a cosmetics test to me. Do you think we'd okay. be able to get some advantage as well because of us just like gen- in general avoiding most sight because we're staying like inside the building to go down into like the roof walled or alleyways down subsurface um i'm trying to think just like terrain advantages basically uh-huh i also have maybe. a skill in conspicuous mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's a good fork yeah me maybe it's I'm an odd sword to disguise people holy moly and i only have two in it uh yes as a different person of the same species yeah <laughs> yeah and getting forks uh i have grooming wise mm-hmm. and probably it. kind of it um maybe like one of my wises maybe but i yeah i don't yeah that's probably it can, can i can i can i fork my dark side wise <laughs> <laughs> probably not uh, uh, maybe selfie. inconspicuous, but I don't know. That feel that doesn't feel like a no. actual cosmetics thing. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see if anyone else has this. Would, this would have been something happening before you went to go buy the ticket. So I'm I'm curious if there's anyone else who has a fork. Uh, hey, N- Nathrix, you got anatomy. That's a fork. So oh, that's... I do. Yes. Do you want to do you want to help? Okay, uh... it sounded like the, you, that was your idea to like dress in commoners' clothes. So that makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah. Okay, so you can take a, a die from anatomy. Uh, let's see if Orin has anything that would be helpful here. Probably not. Lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at <laughs> pretending. 
pretending I'm good at pretending to be others. I'm not so good at uh, making others uh-huh. <laughs> pretending to be someone else. Pretending yeah. to be someone else. Uh, yeah, nothing from Orin. Um, All right. Yeah, I think you just get the fork from Anatomy. So that's four v four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, good luck. Oh. Ooh, super Ooh, close. You got a six. Close. What are you thinking? Spend a fake? Any... Spend two fake? Yeah. Oh, not this again. <laughs> I hate it when I have to. I almost rather rather not roll a six so I don't have to decide. Um, <laughs> I feel like I want to save one fate for myself, but at the same mm-hmm. time, I also want to protect my lady. If you fail here, I'll make sure that this was directly the reason that she dies. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm going to just do one, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, you're going to fail, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, yes! oh my goodness. One above. Two. Nice. And That's one awesome. above. It, one so above, it's so a it's a link test. test. Yeah, exactly. Link, you get an advantage die to the next thing. See, car- I don't believe in karma, but... <laughs> Perfect. God, okay, God's yeah, so, will. God's yeah. sovereign will. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's you um you words. manage to get uh an awesome disguise set up here. Um and then yeah, like I think there I wanna make I wanna have Nathrix make a roll of some sort to set up his like let's go into the undercity or middle city at the very least um plan. Um let's have you do I think maybe intrusion. Let me take a look at these. Yeah, because I, I don't think this is like, I don't think she owns the giant skyscraper beneath the palace, right? So mm-hmm. let's say that at some point you have to like hotwire uh, an access panel or something, right? To like get to the place. So it, it, it's not even that you won't be able to get down somewhere. It's just that you're going to be better off if you can succeed at getting through this access panel. Mm-hmm. So let's do ob three intrusion test. Uh, forking circuitry, mm-hmm. stealthy, mm-hmm. Um, or probably not stealthy. Uh, like, uh, you being spotted doing this is a separate thing from you doing it. Okay. Um, no mechanic. Uh, I don't think so. Let me double check what mechanic does. I think it's like. Oh, repair machines. Uh, okay, yeah, it, it works as a fork. Cool. And you said my ob was three. Nice. Yes. There you go. Uh, yeah. As a note, um, you won't get an additional, like, link test success thing unless you want to spend a fate. But I'm assuming you don't. I don't. Okay. Perfect. I'll save it for the real. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, you guys, we see you guys descend down the skyscraper. Uh, you know, he, and and honestly, I think at this point, like, you, you know, she's she's fired all of her. Most of the most of the people who worked for her are dismissed, right? Like, it's mainly just you guys. I, I honestly think, unless you guys want to circle up someone, another employee who's stayed around, um, I think the only people left working for her besides you guys are the two bodyguards that she sent with, uh, Zena, <laughs> to like pretend, you know, pretend she was had an escort. Um, so, uh, we see you guys descend into the skyscraper, you, you unlock an access panel, you, you guys get out to the kind of, kind of like a landing pad, a kind of sketchy landing pad below, below the skyscraper or on the side of it. And, uh, what, is there like someone waiting there for you? Did you set up a rendezvous? What, what, what do you, what do we see next as part of this plan? Um, yeah, we can, we will do steal a car a, a rendezvous. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think we'd would would it be far enough where like taking a car would be recommended? Yeah, I think so. I mean, getting anywhere on this planet, you kind of have to have a car. Okay. Right. Um. Let's let's have you make an ob two circles test. I think you need a taxi driver who is discreet, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and taxi driver is like a basic occupation that's everywhere here. But yeah, plus one off for being discreet. Do I have some some help? Um, good question. Oren has what was it? Fringe? Yeah, I don't think he has the right 
life paths here, but I think um, the lady probably. No, she probably just has palace stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're having any help here. What about my affiliation with the Secret Service? Uh, if you wanted to find another agent, if you, that's that's a different circles role, but yeah, we could do that instead, right? You could find a an agent to help you out. Um, do you what what life path do you want them to be? Um, that's a good question. Like, what what life path did you choose? Like, is there one that makes sense here? commando maybe yeah probably another commando um yeah let's have let's have that that's probably still an ob two right same life path um actually you know what let's do ob three um because it would be unlikely that this person would be here in t in the nick of time to help you but you can add your affiliation die well, and I would prefer going after the other dude because yeah, that, that's totally fine. Yep, yep, yep. It's just that this guy's gonna be more helpful to you if you manage to circle some up, right? Mm -hmm. If you just circle out the taxi driver, he's just a taxi driver. Yeah, I think. But yeah, that's fine. I'll take just the the two versus two on push. Cool. Yo! Hey. Nice. Oh my goodness. You got the taxi driver. Yep. So, so the rendezvous was set up just fine. I think we do get a shot for the first time of the child too. Um, right. Like this, like probably like three or four year old boy. He's not too, not too old where like the, you know, you'd have a hard time training him in the force or anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's toddling alongside, um, his mother, uh, holding her hand tightly, um, kind of slightly scared, but she's like giving him reassuring words. Um, she seems really out of her element because she's like a noble lady and is forced. You can see she has the mark of privilege, right? She is. She's standing straight. Uh, she's she's not like uh, walking like a common person would would walk. Um, so unfortunately, you will have to you will get a like a, a penalty for like the actual inconspicuous test or whatever it is here. Um, but yeah, I mean, what's your plan there to like be remain hidden? You have you have the um, the the transport. But how do you get to where you're going without being seen? Uh, local knowledge from this cab, this discreet cab driver, and um, uh, just you know, hoping that our disguises were good enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean the cab driver can help you with that. Um, let's have someone make an inconspicuous test here. Um, do you have the skill, Nathrix? I don't have inconspicuous. No, I only have I guess stealthy. I'm the only one that has it. Do you have it, Oren? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm fine with you taking the lead here and being the one who rolls, even though like you know, technically everyone would need to to roll this, you know, individually. But let, let's just let's just abstract it into one roll where Oren is the one trying to like, you know, Nathris is doing all the like uh circling and um intrusion stuff and uh you're the one who's actually like telling like you you probably see the lady at one point like standing up straight like looking like noble and you like snap out you're like you know don't do that like <laughs> like slouch <laughs> right slouch mm -hmm. Get down. right um yeah so we can do ins inconspicuous you will have a plus one odd penalty because of her marker privilege um do you have a skill that can help here um nether i have stealthy stealthy makes sense yep uh, you can add that. Uh, you can force that in. What's what's that at? Uh, it's a five. Two dice. So two dice there. Um, uh, let me check. Uh, Xena got you an extra die from cosmetics, so you can take another die there. Um, but I don't think we've gotten any other linked dice, li linked test dice for this. Um, and I don't see. What about the the increased ob on the cab driver to to be inconspicuous? Yeah, I mean, if you had gotten a uh, three, then like link test rules, right? Like you would have gotten an extra die. Like you got exactly what you needed, which was just a taxi driver. That's not going to make it worse. Like, he's discreet. He won't okay. tell anyone, but he's not he's not helping anything extra. Gotcha. Right. Um, I, I think you can fork in telepathy, though, um, or you can read people's minds and stuff, right? Like be on the lookout for if there's someone watching you or whatever. Right. Right. So that would be uh, yeah. another die. Do yep, we, another die there. Do we get uh, any terrain advantage? I don't uh you know yeah I'll give you because you pull off the intrusion I will give you one die just for yeah being in this situation you you you've brought us here 
That's five. Um, so, yeah, so one more, one more. And then I'll go ahead and roll real quick for them to do see they if also they get, you. Do they also get more because of my conspicuous roll, too? I, I, oh, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, one more die from conspicuous. You're right. Six. All right, you're oh, ooh, that was a bad that was a bad roll for you guys. Ob five. Usually, when I roll when burning wheel for for NPCs, they fail miserably. But apparently, today was not one of those days. Hmm. I wonder if pro pro preoception. <laughs> oh. I, I don't think you can help. You can do that here. That would be if you needed to run or jump anywhere. Uh, yeah. That would, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. we might have to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, glory to God, right? <laughs> hey! hey! Nice. There you go. Yep, yep. So, um, I I mean, honestly, I'm fine with just calling the session there and saying you succeed, right? Um, I don't think there's anything else that really needs to be done. Like, I um, need to get away. Uh, oh, that's true. Yes, yes, you're right. Um, the the only thing I can think of is like. If there was there a failure that happened at any point that like would have led to someone coming after you guys anyway, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think you succeeded on the things that matter. So, um, yeah, I think the you guys get away just fine. But yeah, I think the last roll is scene of Xena gets away too. So is yeah stealthy to like slip off at the nearest starport and like, yeah, lose your tail. Oh right, basically. All right. Probably what happens if you fail this is you get shot and die. <laughs> I have a persona, so true, true. Uh, all right, yeah, but let's make that stealthy roll. Um, I'll, I think it's the same amount of dice they're rolling. Like they have like observation, some forks and stuff. So your your uh, obstacle is going to be two. See, that's more like me. <laughs> okay. Um, Honestly, so what yes. am I rolling? Am I rolling inconspicuous or stealthy? Uh, it depends on how you're describing it. I would like to have it be stealthy because I have a call on for that. <laughs> that makes sense to me. Like, like there's plenty there. I'm sure there'll be a situation where you could slip off and like literally hide somewhere. Right. <laughs> right. I, I I, mean, yeah, I think that makes more sense anyways, because uh, in, inconspicuous would just be like, I suddenly go from being conspicuous to, oh, don't look at me. It's like I have to to like lose their tail first right before right. i can do that. yes yeah it, it, this may, like i would imagine this is more like um instead of like suddenly becoming unnoticed in the crowd which is unlikely um you uh you literally slip behind a door frame or mm -hmm. into the cargo bay or something right like you you literally hide or or sneak away somewhere right. when they are looking honestly use your persona here because if it it, it's a satisfying ending if you know you fail you fail uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how cruel of you will mean um okay uh anything else you could say i could fork in besides just inconspicuous uh caleb um uh, good question let's take a look the you only thing I might in. argue is uh, escort wise, because I'm sure I have some uh, security and obviously I would just like maybe use them as like a distraction to get away, like um, in numbers kind of a thing. I don't know if escort wise helps you, but I think you can get both security wise and ambush wise. OK, that's fair. OK, cool, 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 cool. Like I think security kind of co covers both the escort thing and general and security stuff. Right. Uh, okay. All in one. That's fair. Okay. All right. Up to. Right. If this if this fails, this will be sad. That would be really sad because I'm rolling five dice, um, I know, yeah. and I also have a call on. So and it really should. Succeed. I really need to succeed at this. <laughs> <laughs> and the more we talk it up, the more likely you are to fail. Ooh, there close though. Cool. Nice. Yep. Yep. So you managed to slip away uh, without anyone being the wiser. I think with the last shot we get is literally just like uh, Davit Kong, uh, just like uh, he's the one trailing you with his Rodian goons, and they were gonna like <laughs> shoot you in an alley somewhere, right? In a, like a, a secluded corner of the ship because they're like you trying to run from us, you know, sort of thing. And um, they're you like they were ready to do this, and they lose you, and we just see you know hear and see him like cursing under his breath, and and he's like find her, find her, and then we just see Zena slip away. Like probably like the like yeah. the first stop the at the nearest starport, right? You slip away and end up somewhere different. Like we we literally maybe even just see like the music is lifting, um, and 
um, you're walking, you like throw off all of your like noble gear and stuff into like a trash can right and the two bodyguards who were helping you like give you a little salute and like walk away and go off somewhere else right <laughs> they're like our job here is done and then you just walk away as a completely different woman yeah there that's you go. cool right cool stuff there you go that was our uh that was our star wars little one shot i was really happy with the way that turned out um I was hoping then that as that would we're be... leaving, other ships begin to descend onto the planet. Oh, right, exactly. <laughs> then we see the Mandalorian show off on Terrace. Yeah, because that's gonna what's gonna happen next time when we actually start a real campaign. Um, but that was that was fun. At least, at least these characters aren't gonna be there when when that all goes down. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a fun little one shot because like it has sequel potential, right? We could uh, find because we we didn't actually get uh, Oren did not convince her to go to a Descent, so we we can. Uh, if we happen to ever come back to this um, for any reason, we we have that little subplot to to wrap up there. So um, I, I like it though. I, I think that was a fun little. I, I was really happy with the with the amount we were, uh, or rather, what I'm trying to say is, I was hoping that this scenario that I set up would be just enough to fill us fill up a one shot, but not enough that it would take too long. And I think you know, 24 hours to to get this sorted out makes sense as a. Uh, I think it, I think it worked out. Uh, well enough there was only so much you guys could do and we mm -hmm. ran out of time um as characters so you did what you could and you succeeded ma ha handily so congratulations there was some really clutch roles there that <laughs> really i was gonna say because i'm so used to failing so much like uh -huh. that was wild that was there's some really good good roles there uh I'm, I'm, one of my favorite parts was just watching Will sell off all of her goods <laughs> for repentance. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but let's let's before we end here, let's let's go through uh, beliefs and instincts and traits and give you guys some Artha. Uh, this is usually how we end a, a session of Burning Wheel. You you take a look at your beliefs, instincts, and traits, and uh, we we figure out whether or not you um you earned any Artha for them to kind of replenish your pool there. Um. All right, Zena. Looks okay, like you well, only got I that only... one belief. Yeah, I just had that one belief, um, which I realize uh, it comes from my loyal trait. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I owe much to the House of Kare. I will complete the job that they have asked of me. You did it, Persona. I did it! You Yay. didn't even have to spend your Persona. Yeah. I don't think anyone spent their Persona, did they? No. Mm -mm. No. Nice. Um, cool. Instincts? Uh, never reveal my true intentions. Protect Murray at all costs and always assume someone is shady until proven otherwise. I don't think any of those gotten you to trouble. Trouble. Um, no, so, if yeah, I think... if I fail my falsehood, that certainly would have uh -huh, gotten me into uh -huh. trouble. Yep. But um let's see. I don't know if any of your traits came up enough to be Arthur worthy. Um Dark. that makes sense to you? Or do you have an argument? No, I don't think so. Let's see. Did you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you right skill, right time for cosmetics. That was a that was a fun moment where you got to Ooh, um, use that that skill. Um, but I think that is it. Um, Nathrix. Uh, so you I, have a yeah. Uh, what's your belief there? I have a sworn duty to my post. I'll protect Marie Carre. Very nice. You did it. Persona. Let's go. Uh, you didn't leave your post. You uh, always try to find ways in and out of a room that didn't necessarily come up. Nope. Um, and I didn't attack anyone. Yeah. You, I mean, I, I was ready to throw in some random goons, but you guys kept succeeding on all the roles that would have led you to <laughs> have random <laughs> goons attack you. So um, we never got to see uh, Oren ignite his lightsaber. So. Um, not yet, maybe, at least. Maybe for a sequel. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think any of your traits came up in and up, but I will give you a humor fate point um, for the scene with the propaganda. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was fun. <laughs> um, and then I think um, I think I might give you um, uh, let's see what is there a good right skill, right time moment for you? Um. Think so with uh being able to break in slash yeah break intrusion out. yeah yeah intrusion. that's that's a good one we'll, we'll give you a favorite one for that one too I appreciate it. and then Oren let's see you got a couple beliefs here 
let's see, you did not convince Mar uh, Marie to bring your, her son back to the Great Jedi Enclave, but you're, you were working on it. I so you get a fate point um, for, for working on it. Um, and then you will seek to balance myself back. You actually didn't end up using either the light side or the dark side today. I um, so um, I, I, I ma yeah, maintained so a balance. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you're, you were specifically to try to get back in balance. So, um, I don't think there's any other stuff there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if anything else came up particularly. I, I, I do want to give you an embodiment point. I think you had some good, like you had some cool, cool speeches from from Orin mm -hmm. today. Um, so that you know, uh, for for good role playing, basically. You need to take one persona there. Um, but I think that's it. Cool stuff. Well, there right. you go. And that's been our one shot. Our Star Wars one shot. Thanks for playing, guys. That was fun. Thanks for I really there. wanted to do some Star Wars, so I'm glad y'all wanted to do the same. Cool. Yeah, right. a lot of fun. Yep. We're out. Adios.